Legends of a Hanging Tree, a pond that has claimed at least one life. Hills that are said to hold the graves of countless. One of the most haunted houses in Western New York, the Hinsdale House. The more I learn about this place, the more I really want to leave it. A priest came in to perform an exorcism, but it didn't work. Came back full force and all he could tell the family to do is get out. It was just a very dark place that actually followed us home after we left. The scary part is we don't fully understand. It's the unknown that scares us. On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're at one of the most evil houses in America, the Hinsdale House. That heavy hitting energy is still there. It's not gone. And one brother just took a shotgun out and shot his brother. A little boy playing on the buzzsaw on the chain snapped to crack him in the head and killed him. We found bodies back here. Yeah, there are bodies buried in the back, five of them. Right above, like right here. That's the crawl space. Oh. I just say be careful with your investigation, your what you're doing here tonight, because it, it could come out. Just now, we dripped our blood on the Ouija board in the exorcism room. Oh my god. Dude, we my cannot room. put that on YouTube now. Whoa! Did you get that on camera? Yeah. As we just put the blood on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cursed. Oh my god. That one is also hitting. Oh, Careful. That's going right crazy. Here. Yes, I'm here. I'm really here. That's where I am. Oh my! Oh. Perfectly, it's centered on four. That's There's four of us, bro. The oh. devil. Oh. Oh! 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 On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're at one of the most evil houses in America, the Hinsdale House. This house has an insane history. There are bodies buried on the property. There may have been serial killers that lived in this home. And this house was actually exorcised. Yes, there was an exorcism performed on the house. This was cleared by the Vatican, and according to the owner and the past tenants, this exorcism failed. I got bad thoughts that make my mind scared. Hold me hostage and they don't fight fair. Ghosts of my past, they fill in the night air. Wake me up, I'm trapped in my nightmares. And whatever demon or evil entity lives here in the home is still here to this day. Drowning, drowning, I'm off the deep end. Apparitions of all my demons. All my thoughts are committing treason. All alone, who gonna hear me screaming? This is an extreme episode of The Paranormal Files. So before we begin, I want to warn everybody that watching this video video may open you up to some of these darker forces. We've heard stories from fans yeah. and people who watch the videos that when they watch some of these episodes, stuff has come through the screen yeah. into their home. People have had doors slammed. People have been scratched. People have had nightmares, sleep paralysis. So honestly, yeah. watch the following documentary with caution because I'm very afraid right now. We're about to start. And um, welcome to this extremely dark episode of The Paranormal Files. careful going into that house, all right? Whatever is in there is very intelligent and it's territorial. Last time I was there, it did not like us being in that house and it made it very clear that it wanted us out. So just, just be safe. Anyways, good luck. Be really careful investigating the Hinsdale house because the energy is like no other, especially on the land. It's very ancient and it dwells there. It kind of builds up energy and it will attack when you least expect it. So have your guard up, be prepared for anything because it can just hit you like a wave. And when you walk away from that location, leave it behind because it will linger. So just be cautious. Hey, what's up, Colin? It's me, Omar. Seen on social media that you were probably considering going to the Hinsdale house. If I were you, I would I'd probably be careful. Maybe not even go. Last time I went, I, I felt, felt something kind of dark that was trying to attach itself to me. Uh, just be really careful, man. I'm really, uh, really worried about you, be honest. I'm gonna say a prayer for you, man. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Class, and I am the owner of this beautiful house that stands behind me. Um, the reason that I purchased this house uh, about seven years ago um, is I had a profound experience here investigating paranormal. Come to find out that this house is actually the, the site of a structural exorcism. 
back in 1974 that failed. Uh, doing the history and research on this location, there was a family that moved in here from Buffalo, New York. This is about an hour and a half south of Buffalo. Um, they started having poltergeist activity, scratching. Uh, it was deemed demonic by the Catholic Church in the 1970s. It was all over the papers in this area. The priest got the okay from the Vatican to come in and do a structural exorcism, kind of like a cleansing of this house, and it didn't work. And the family actually hightailed it all the way to California. Back in 1974, this is like before uh, anything like that was in the news. And uh, so the family was getting ridiculed. People were coming down here wanting to see ghosts. I mean, bricks were being thrown at people. Um, I actually have some of the items in the house that were here in the 1970s uh, from Claire. I've actually gone out to Oregon and talked to her and, and met with her and got to hear her story from her own mouth. They've had psychics here. And we uncovered a lot of stuff at this house. I mean, there's something making this place tick. There was a Native American Revolutionary War uh, that was fought here, so there's probably bodies sc scattered all around here. We found uh, relics from Native Americans, uh, arrowheads, that we actually have some of in the case in here. Um, so there's definitely a Native American presence here on this on the land. Some people say that the land is more haunted than the house. The house is probably just plopped on this this, this sacred land, you know? We found uh, that there was a story of uh, two brothers uh, that were fighting up in the forest here behind the house. Um, they were arguing about religion, actually, and one brother just took a shotgun out and shot his brother. So it actually had shadow figures. Shadow figures appear in front of the house on the cameras, uh, and it looks like a guy holding a gun, a big, tall shadow figure. We've also captured that in the house. There's also a story of a little boy, uh, and it's a true story. It happened in 1945, I believe. The no, Don't quote me on the date, but it was the 1940s. There used to be a barn where the pond sits, and there was a buzzsaw behind the barn, and he lived up the hill. And uh, he came back and was playing on the buzzsaw and the chain snapped and cracked him in the head and killed him instantly. And a lot of people have seen a young, young boy wandering the property. Other things, there's, there's other stories told about this, this land and this property. There was a, the Hinsdale House hanging tree was actually on this original property. Um, so there's many souls that have been hung uh, right at the northeast corner of the original property. Uh, the tree was actually struck by lightning in 2005, 2006, something like that and healed over and all you see up there is a stump right now. So there's a lot of potential things to communicate with here. There's a lot of things, I would say be, be careful with your investigation tonight. There's definitely something dark, heavy here. Uh, it suppresses you, it makes you feel tired. And if you're doing like an EVP session, uh, you could be communicating with some positive energies here. It will all change and you'll start getting swore at and you'll start getting names called at you and tell, asking you to leave and get the f out. So you really need to be careful. Uh, I would make sure that if that does start happening, go, go do something else. Take, like, take a break from it because it's really, it can really be suppressive. I've had people that have been overtaken here that we've actually had to have cleansed by priests and uh, whatever their uh, religion is. Uh, it's happened quite a few times. My buddy Ed, he was helping me here and he just got obsessed with the place. It's kind of like the... What's that show with the with the with the ring, Lord of the Rings, oh, Gollum, yeah. Gollum, right? Yeah. And he uh, he just wanted to keep coming up here. He just wanted to keep coming up here, and I, I was allowing it. And he just got so obsessed with the place. And then one one time he was upstairs uh, doing some scrying, and his all, his eyes turned black. Like we actually had to like pull him out. He had no recollection of what being here. It, it was crazy. It sounds like uh, the the person at uh, the Norwich State Hospital. She had the same experience. Yeah. The she same. said her eyes went black and she didn't even remember any of that. So that's crazy. Wow. In other places, same events are happening yeah. and people are feeling the same way. So we've done a lot of, I mean, this property was a crap hole. You couldn't even, like the grass was like four feet tall when I got it. There was black mold all throughout this house. It was gonna be torn down. And basically I bought it and brought it, bring it back to life so we can try to understand what's going on here and, and learn from the energies and the spirits that are here. We've brought a lot of positive and light to this, to this but that heavy hitting energy is still there. It's not gone. Right. Uh, so it just, I just say be careful with your investigation, your, what you're doing here tonight, because it, it could come out. So one thing I want to know is like when the owners that had those experiences uh, moved out and fled, uh, fled to California. Was the house just abandoned ever since? So. There was, uh, there, the, the family, it was actually a land lease. So the people that lived here, they were investing their money to, hold, to buy the house. It was kind of like a, a lease and then you buy it at the end type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the only person to own the house since 1969. Um, I, I came and purchased it and actually bought it out from that company. It was still land leasing it. So oh, I, I actually bought the house. But there were other house, there were other people that lived here. The, the last family that lived here was the Misnick family. They were an older couple. Um, and that's actually what connected me with this location is the, the grandmother. Flo Misnick. 
she's here. It was uh, 1986, and it stayed abandoned until it was purchased. Wow. So it was over what, almost 30 years. Yeah, and you had it ever since. I've had it ever since. We've actually found an old foundation on the right side of the pond back here. So if you guys go back there, there's a, found, a foundation that we have no idea what it is. We have maps dating back to the 1700s, and uh, we don't know what it's from or what, where it came from, and so we're still kind of researching in that. Um, I did have, uh, there's a lot of folklore, like supposedly there was a car in the middle of the pond and dead bodies in there. So we had the pond dove from the forensic divers and they, all they found were pieces of the barn that burned down. Oh, the barn did burn down mysteriously. <laughs> oh my God. Um, really? Yeah, in the 1960s. So there's a lot of uh, barn remnants out there. Walk over this way a little and you can go back on the right side of the pond in the back over there. We've actually had some ground penetrating radar done on the property because there's a story of these two guys that lived here, uh, the Everett's brothers, 1853, they built this house. And the, the story says that they were luring people in from the stagecoach trail off the main road, killing, murdering them, stealing their goods, storing their bodies in the house in the basement and up in the crawl space. There's a crawl space above the kitchen and then burying their bodies out here, uh, out on the property somewhere. So in order for us to look at that story as anything more than folklore, we had to do some GPR and we found bodies back here. Yeah, there are bodies buried in the back right corner of the property here. Um, five of them that we found so far and we have to do more, it's expensive. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I had no idea. So serial no, no, killers. I actually, we, we actually haven't, uh, we tell the teams that come here, you know, and I think it's fair that you guys are here that you should know that they're there. Yeah. Um, you're investigating this place, so as much knowledge as that you have, the better investigation you're gonna have, you know, so if you're going outside thinking that what you catch out there, maybe it has some connection with uh, right. what we found. Um, there are, we've, we've captured an Indian woman out by the pond, a full body apparition, full body apparition of a woman dancing around the pond and white children outside. So the family that moved here in the 1970s, their daughter actually committed suicide and she was the one that was most affected at this house as well. Her she, name's she Laura. Committed suicide in the house? No, she committed after they left. Okay, damn. Uh, but she's come back as a child and her room is the, as we go in the house, I'll show you where her room is, but we've captured a full body apparition of her. I've showed the picture to her mother and her mother's confirmed that that's my daughter, Laura. Well, maybe, can we move inside? Yeah. Because this let's, wind is gonna kill my let's, wife. Let's move inside. I had no idea that there was Dude, this is something. The, everything in here is almost reminding me of like the Conjuring house. It's like, yeah. sometimes I feel Thank like you. it was the outside that was more, the, the land was more haunted than the inside. Yeah. It was causing everything. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. All right, so we're now in the house. Um, as you can see, this is one of the bedrooms. This was, we named them after all the, the Dandy family, the family that lived here in the 1970s. This was actually Michael's bedroom. Um, he's also passed away. He has also come back here. Uh, we've captured EVPs of him. Um, he is a big jokester. He likes to joke, he loves the Beatles. And I asked Clara why he would come back here and he said, she, he said probably to see Laura. Um, so when Michael was actually living here as a child, he had recollections of if there's shelves in there, things falling, flying off the shelf at him, pulling his head captivity, doors opening, the stove in the kitchen turning on by itself. Um, so he had he had a lot happen to him. He also saw a shadow figure outside in the woods. He he performed a Ouija board session in the living room and actually had a doll fly at them while they were doing the Ouija board session. So they were just trying to use a Ouija board and figure out what was going on here. What what is all the stuff that's happening? Um, so he's, he's actually kind of like more of the skeptic of the, of the whole family, but he had stuff happen that he couldn't explain. Now that he's passed, it's, it's sad because Clara, the mother, she thinks that the house came back to get him, you know, because they said it was from a previous accident that he had that was a blood clot in his leg. And the accident that they're talking about happened right actually outside here, right on the, on the main road. He was driving down the road, got into an accident and fell into a ditch. <laughs> He said this car steered itself into the ditch. Um, the other thing that happened to him when he was pulling into the driveway, um, he was with his buddy and they felt like something was in the car with them and they actually saw the seat cushion of the car like levitate, like something was sitting there in the car with them. Um, so we actually have a lot of accounts of people, that's why I put up that like little barricade there at the front of the driveway because I've even since I've owned it, I've had people go into that ditch. 
So yeah, I'm like, why, so why, why would you go into the ditch? Yeah. You know, I, I was doing a tour here. It was like oh, midnight. I'm getting ready. I want to go home. You know, I'm like, boom, in the ditch. I'm like, oh, I got to stay here for another hour and a half till AAA gets here. Now. I don't know what it is. If it's like some type of electro pull. I mean, we did we did start looking at like different uh, electromagnetic fields. Um, there are ley lines that actually crisscross in the pond that may have something to do with it. There's an underground aquifer. Uh, that actually feeds the pond that comes from the, the hill. We have, that's where we actually have the underground uh, pipes going, uh, so it feeds right to the pond. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. If you guys look over here in this cabinet, um, some things that, you, that you'll be able to utilize tonight if you want. Um, this is actually the priest that performed the exorcism here in, in the 1970s. He's dead. His name's Father Alphonsus and uh, he performed the exorcism. This is actually his traveling mass kit. So this may have actually been in the house before. Because uh, oh. he'd come here and performed a mass for the family, and then he actually came and did the, the structural exorcism. So if you want to utilize any of that stuff to as a trigger object tonight, feel free to do so. Just put it back when you're done. Yeah. Trusting. Are those arrowheads from here? Yeah. Man? Yeah, so these are some of the ones. When we were digging a septic system at, at the house here so we could have a working toilet again, these are some of the arrowheads that we found. They're actually spearheads, oh. um, is what I was told from a native... But these are so so defined, so cool to be able yeah. to find these back here. And there's probably a ton more. I think we found like 13 or 14 of them so far. There is a tree out in the back behind the house. Um, so about four years ago, we started a giving tree, trying to give back to the land, try to open up that line of communication with the spirits that are outside, the native spirits, and know that we came in peace. And it's become a spectacle. So it's nothing negative up there. Uh, all the things that are on the tree and on the, pro on the ground is all donations from... Uh, paranormal investigators and people that have come here as a donation to the native spirits on the land. If you're if you're looking to maybe connect with that, that might be something good to do. Maybe give it like a tobacco or something like that. Uh, it usually helps with the lines of communication when you're dealing with the spirits on the outside of the house. Has anyone ever talked about like maybe like shapeshifters or skinwalkers here just oh, because of the that. native? Oh. I, was gonna, I was definitely going to get to the because um, we have documented. Uh, we actually have documented pictures of. The only thing that's been explained to me is a puck wedging. Yo, oh my god, you know that's that crazy. Is. Yeah. Dude, I, I, dude, I've even witnessed one. Seen it twice. Like, actually was able to see it. And one time I was able to capture a puck wedgie, but it, I don't think it was it's, it, in that form. It, it turned into like a ball of light. And it was floating, and I captured it, and I got it. That was the, It was the one time only. Never actually like seen a skinwalk or anything, but I, maybe I heard one. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, it's really cool. I've never actually seen one with my own eyes. Uh, just the pictures that other investigators have captured here. There's a guy, his name's Jeff Fent, uh, out of Columbus, Ohio, that was here, and he's really drawn to the forest. So he started experimenting with different light, uh, different forms of light, and he was using this red light. And uh, he took a picture and blew him up in the tree, captured, you could see its long fingers around the tree, you could see its tail, looks like a monkey face. And uh, the shaman from... Do you from, have a picture of it? Oh yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, thank oh, you. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you need that. <laughs> the, shaman, the shaman, Chris Sutton from uh, St. Louis is the one that t it described what it was and showed me what it was. And I started learning about it a little bit more. So when you go up in the forest, if you feel like something's like following you or keeping an eye on you, a lot of people do, it could be a puck wedgie. So be careful with that. Oh and what is a puck wedgie? It's basically a, a Native American uh, elemental or a Na Native American cryptid that protects Native American burial grounds. Now I'll have, I'll have you know that uh, on the neighboring property, which is original to this property, there are Native American burial grounds there. Uh, there are doc four documented mounds that they have on that property. Um, she doesn't want us going over there, so just be, once you get past the tree up there, that's their, her property. So. But there, there are definitely a Native American burial grounds there as well. The other thing is an el there's an elemental aspect to this house as well. We've had teams coming here specializing in elementals. She, she captured this picture, and it looked kind of like a, you were at a concert. Back in the day, people used to light you know, cigarette lighters, and it, was like, it looked like the whole hill was like, like lit up with like little lights. Really? And different colored lights. What? It was, it was really cool, like blue, purple, red, and... No explanation to what it is, except they believe it's elemental, like... Tap already. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Right above, like right here. Yeah, that's, like the, that's the crawl space. Oh, oh that's shit. That's the crawl okay. space. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty heavy. Back to, the, back to the Misnick family, who I connected with. Uh, they were here till 1986. Um, I was basically here before I owned the house. We were saying goodbye to this place because it was being torn down. I was standing here in the kitchen. 
And all I really knew about was the failed exorcism at that point. I started researching more about other families that have lived here. And uh, I had known that they had passed away. So um, I just had a K2 meter in my hand and I said, Flo, are you here? Now it was just me, my camera person, and one other person. And I got like goosebumps up my arm, hair sticking straight up. The K2 meter went all the way up to 500 milligauss. And I continued to have what I felt like was a conversation with her. I connected with her. I said, Flo, will you hold my hand as we go up the stairs? And the K2 meter stayed lit in my hand all the way up the stairs into the master bedroom. There was no electricity here. There was no reason for the K2 meter to be going off. Um, when I crossed over into the, the room that has all the flies and stuff, I lost her. Uh, the next morning, I posted a picture of, of the, the house on my Facebook page, and I got a message from Jackie Chandra, and I go, she goes, you were at my grandparents' old house. Like, the synchronicities just sunk in, like, yeah. I need to save this place, you know, like, it was her grandmother that I connected with the night before, posted a picture, and then out of the blue, she just saw the picture and connected with me. It was, it was like, meant to happen, I think. And I think a lot of it is meant to be, you know, like, I think the right person had to be at the right time to get this place and try to save it and try to unlock the history and understanding of what's going on here. Um, let's go into the living room. I can tell you a little bit about the living room here. <laughs> Alright, so this, where, where you guys are standing right now is right where the family kind of knelt in a circle. In this living room, the priest stood right here. There was a film crew from New York City behind me. They had a microphone outside, a microphone inside. And also there was a psychic medium. His name was Alex Tannis. This is where they performed the structural exorcism of the house, right here in the living room. I think this is one of the most active locations in the house. I mean, it is very active everywhere, but I've had a lot of things happen here and a lot of connection with energies and spirits and EVPs and shadow people. I mean, I was sleeping here on the couch one time and my friend Kaylee was right here. It was just the two of us here because she's never experienced anything before. Nothing happened the whole night. So we were crashing and then I woke up to something touching me. I felt something brush my neck and I'm not one to claim to be touched ever. <laughs> and I felt it. I felt like something touched me. I turned over and there's a night light right there and there's black shadow just blocks the night light. And just kept going back and forth right here in the living room. And I said, Kaylee. She turned over and she's like, oh my God, do you see that? So she saw what I was seeing and then it just dissipated right into the wall over there, gone. It was, it was one, of, one of the most remarkable things to see with my own eyes. <sighs> Just gives you chivers thinking about it. Um, they also had some animals. We get animal spirits here as well. A dog that ran in front of a car. Um, Clara had a raccoon. She had cats. She had a dog. Um, but there was a team here called the Warriors of the Paranormal Girl Team. You know, they were, one girl was sleeping on the couch right here. And uh, I checked in with them the next day to see how their investigation went. And she said it was kind of slow. They've been here many times, so not much happened. A couple days later, she sends me this video, and she's on the couch with a blanket, and you're kind of curled up in like the little position like this, you know, so there's this area right here where your stomach is. And on the blanket, it looks like something pops out of the, <laughs> out of the blanket, you know, it looks like an animal, it looks like, like a hedgehog or something, but it, it came up, its head turned, and it went back down. And then, a couple seconds later on the video, it looks like a hand or an arm goes underneath the blanket, and you can see the outline of the hand on the blanket, lifting up and then it just falls and then a couple seconds after that the whole video just went black like something affected the battery life of the video because she was trying to tape herself all night all right. so stuff like that will happen i mean that's uh, nuts one pretty question crazy. is you brought up uh there was like a new york film crew yeah. so is that actually documented evidence like like is that so who the, has the film we haven't been able to locate we haven't been able to locate this film uh, we did speak to one person that was on the film crew, and they basically told us never to call them again and hung up on us. Oh, wow. So it's pretty... Um, we're looking at the Alex Tannis Foundation right now to see if maybe he has anything. We do have a, a whole script, like a written script of everything that happened, because Clara kind of documented everything as it happened. So we have her take of everything that happened that day, but we don't have the actual video. Interesting, too, the kids, this is where they did the Ouija board session um, in the house, and I do have the doll over here. Um, the doll in the yellow dress um, that's back here. I don't keep a lot of dolls here like at the sanitarium, yeah. but this doll, Thank it, you. this doll is the one that actually flew off the shelf. At the yellow the, one? Yep. Damn. Would be the creepiest one. Actually, yeah. I don't know, those zombies. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So original of the house is this doll right here, this okay. yellow one, and this doll right here was the Miznix doll, and this one's moved on its own. This doll I kept because it has a good story to it. It was shipped in from Norway and it's survived three fires 
and it was sent here, so I kept it because I thought it had a good story. And this actually used to be a bedroom as well, if you can see, like, oh, where the, yeah. um, this is a Beth's room. She's still alive. Let's go upstairs. Just walking upstairs and I see this. Dun, dun, dun. It's just, it's even like, honestly, be, if you didn't know any of the history, it'd be a vibe to just relax and look out and see everything. It's like nice. But now you, I got all that history in my head. Now I'm just like, dude, that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the master bedroom. This is the only bedroom in the house with a closet. There's a, a folklore story of about a young boy hanging himself in this closet. I don't have any proof to that, but people get a lot of activity in that closet. Um, that's actually where Ed was when his eyes turned black inside that closet. A lot of, oh, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Hello? Um, so people do a lot of scrying in there. So it's, uh, I think there's a lot, the energy is in that closet. The smaller bedroom over here is Laura's bedroom. Um, she's the one that committed suicide. Um, we've captured her in the bedroom on the steps coming up. Um, that buggy was dropped off here from Niagara Falls. It supposedly has a child spirit attached to it. I mean, I don't know why they want to get dropped off at this house, but. My ears are ringing so hard. They're like they're popping, sudden, right? right? Yes. Mine dude. are popping too. Yeah, it, all of a sudden. I like need a piece of gum or something. Me too. So, you too? Yeah, I just popped my ears. I yeah. just, uh, just swallowed my saliva and they popped. It's like this, something just came and I have a headache too all of a sudden. Dang. Like so randomly. It's starting. It's starting in the interview. Or they're just, he's here, he's talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, well, you guys need to know all this stuff. Um, this, this was Mary's room. She's still alive. But this is the room where we've had psychics say that is the epicenter of what's happening in this house. When I first got the house, this was infested with flies. We'll still get fly infestations just out of the blue in this room. There'll probably be some dead ones in there if you go in there, but uh, I've, this is the only room I've never slept in. I don't feel comfortable in this room. When you cross that threshold into this room, you'll probably feel different energy. More like, I don't know, it just feels different. And um, it's uh, this this door in the 1970s actually boarded it up and didn't even go in this room because they felt like that was what was causing everything that was happening here. I think there's a lot more to it. I think there's a lot. I think the land is enriched. I think there's deaths on the land. I think there's things that are that uncovered that we need to figure out in order to, and it's different levels, it's different layers. A Catholic exorcism didn't work here. So it tells you that it's probably something else. You know, it has to be something that maybe is not Catholic. I mean, you have to look at every different, um, there's the tap above even. Oh, I'm hearing footsteps above us. And that's the, that's the top of the roof. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, there's, <laughs> that's crazy. There's, I, I think there's so many different levels of energy here, different belief systems involved from like the 1700s, 1600s, that you have to be able to touch on all of that in order to figure this out. That's why I've allowed open this place up to teams and investigators like you guys uh, to come in and try to see what your perspective is on this location, maybe try something different, maybe try to get some evidence of something happening uh, that will help with what we're trying to figure out. So that's my goal for having you guys here tonight. Can you give me like, a rundown from the family starting to first experience events and like what led them to call the, the exorcist yeah so i mean it was a it was a four-year a four-year thing with the with the family that moved in here uh the dandy family they thought this was going to be their dream home they went and put the deposit down and got the house and they were getting ready to move here and the day that they moved here is when all the stuff started bees were just swarming the house inside the house outside the house actually when i bought this place there was a beehive still here from the 1970s. Um, it was four feet into the floorboards of this room. We had to actually cut out the floorboards in here to get the bees out. They still try to come back, uh, you know, but it was still here. And uh, I, I feel like this this room, like I feel like insects are attracted to energy. And to, to have such a, a huge beehive uh, in the floorboards of this room, and I, it was on the outside of the house, it was pretty crazy. That was the first thing that they experienced here with the bees and, and that they were still here all these years later. When I told Clara about the bees, she's like, yeah, they're, they're, they'll never go away. <laughs> um, and then they started having, uh, the, there was a chimney that was being taken down and there were bricks and the bricks were thrown. Uh, I mean, I just know what the, the I don't know, like the, the, the time frame of when things happened. 
Uh, but it was a four year period of kids seeing things on the outside of the house. Uh, they would go on the outside of the house to see what was there, and then it would be on the inside of the house looking at them from the inside of the house. And people have seen, have had that happen before. There's been accounts of, there's a fly right there. Yeah, yeah. What? There's a fly yeah. on the inside. Oh, shit. I'm waiting to get a few rolls out of it later. This is, um... oh, I gotta get the old guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Damn. <laughs> right when you tell the story, too. There's been um, accounts of of spirits that they found uh, in the driveway, on the front of the house, on the porch, almost every room in this house, in the woods, and out by the pond. Laura, the, the young, uh, the girl that committed suicide, she would always have scratch marks. Um, one thing that, uh, a smell, if you smell it, she, uh, she loved, what's that, Vicks Vapor Rub? Mm -hmm. So her mom used to rub that on her every night to make her calm her down. And uh, if you smell that, um, that may be, it may be her. One investigator, which was really clever, actually laid a tub of Vicks Vapor Rub on her bed. And we went out for dinner in Olean, came back and there was a fingerprint in the, in the Vicks Vapor Rub, which was kind of wow. cool. The father, I, I, one of the accounts, uh, uh, the father was sitting downstairs smoking a cigarette and he had like this little ashtray that looked like a fire cup, you know, like a fire bucket. And it went flying off the shelf into the wall. Um, so everybody in the family experienced something one way or another um, for four years. After two years, uh, he came and did a, a mass here with them in the kitchen. It died down for a little bit and then it came back full force to the point where they did this structural exorcism, finally got it approved and came to try to relieve the family. But unfortunately, they lost everything in it. You know, they, they put all their money, they were, they were close to paying this place off and everything they put into it, they lost. They had to walk away and start over fresh. And uh, I, I could see it in her eyes, like when I when we interviewed her, went out to Oregon just to hear the stories coming from her mouth of what they had to deal with when they were here. It was like a love-hate relationship because she loved it. I mean, if you look outside, it's beautiful. There's not a, there, there's not a neighbor in sight. There's a pond, and it's it's looks can be deceiving. So that's why I always tell people to stay on their toes when they're here and uh, make sure that you're looking out for each other. My friend Nick, when he was filming Paranormal Lockdown down here. Um, he stood right here with his DR-60 and the EVP that came said, there's no heaven. You know, like if it, you guys oh watched God. that episode, he was standing right here. He slept right where you guys are standing. And uh, this house really, you know, he opened himself up to the elements here. He kind of let what was here get into his head in order to try to become one with it. it followed him home. No. It followed him home. He had to have his house exercise. It was weird. We, I was here with a, a small group and it, the house seemed different after he left for a little while. And that night I was using my geo and um, all of a sudden it just started saying, where's Nick? With, like calling him out, where's Nick, where's Nick? And I called him, I said, Nick, I go, I, go, I have the geo box like yelling your, your name. And he goes, dude, you're not gonna believe what happened. He goes, I gotta call you. So he called, I had to like drive down the road to take the phone call from him because the phone service here sucks. And he goes, dude, I just had somebody at my house cleansing my house. Something followed me home from Hinsdale. So that exact time that his house was cleansed is when it came back here asking where Nick was. So it's kind of like a like a battle for him, you know, it was, it was pretty crazy. Be really careful investigating the Hinsdale house because the energy is like no other, especially on the land. It's very ancient and it dwells there. It kind of builds up energy and it will attack when you least expect it. So have your guard up, be prepared for anything because it can just hit you like a wave. And when you walk away from that location, leave it behind because it will linger. So just be cautious. Connor, what are you hearing right now? I just heard a man's voice downstairs and I'm hearing like tapping and footsteps like all down the stairs. The basement's small. I mean, it's a small little, like a little wine cellar type thing. But supposedly this is where bodies were stored that yeah. were killed. Um, we've gotten some EVPs saying, help, find me, I'm buried. So many psychics have said there's bodies buried right next to the house. Um, but it's just, it's time and money, you know? Yeah. So we having- The five are buried already back there. Yeah, in the back. They're actually documented with like poles, so oh, okay. you, you can know where they are. 
Did you say you wanted to do a geo session with us? Yeah, I brought my geo box. We should want. do one before. Before it sunsets. Yeah, yeah. yeah we you're, you're leaving, right? After yeah, I have to. I have to leave. I have a long trip ahead of me, so I'm gonna leave you guys to it, and I'll get my geo box, and we can. Yeah, let's see do a quick session in the living room and see what happens. Let's see how do it. Let's start off with something. All right. Cool. Dude, this place is. So today's episode is gonna be a little more extreme than episodes that we've done and produced in the past. Um, not only because of what we're doing in this episode, but because of the location itself. Hinsdale House, alleged serial killers that once lived there, an exorcism that was performed on the structure and not an individual, and all other sorts of things, as you heard in that interview, um, that have happened in the woods, the surrounding areas. It's not just the house that's haunted, it's the, it's the land. I've wanted to investigate the Hinsdale House for years now, and to have the opportunity to do it was amazing, but to also hear all of my friends, people that I trust in the paranormal community, telling me that this place really is evil, um, it definitely set us on edge as we began filming that night. And let me tell you, it's hard to get that feeling across um, from this side of the screen to your side, but that place felt evil. It felt dark, it felt like there was something there from the moment we got out of our car, and until the very end of the night, there was, there was something there. Hello, I'm Connor Shannon. Um, I've been working with the Paranormal Files for about six months now. After the tour, just walking around the house, there's something off about the place. Uh, something that just felt like it was kind of... It wasn't something that was following you around. It was something that was like enveloping the whole place. Uh, like a just like a deep, intense feeling in the place. And I wasn't really sure what it was, but it didn't feel like it was for any good, honestly. I, I don't know, it, it was one of those places that, I mean, you know from the moment that you step foot in the place that there's gonna be some crazy stuff that happened there. I mean, the place had an exorcism on the whole house. It wasn't an exorcism on a single person. You have to take that and really understand what you're working with at a location like this. So to start out our investigation tonight, um, we're joined by Dan, homeowner, um, and he's gonna actually do a geo box session to kind of introduce us to the spirits. I'm gonna let you speak most of the time, but we felt like it's just natural if we're coming here, it's his house and he knows everybody here the best, that we let him do the introductions. I agree. Also, can you explain everyone what a geo box is? Yeah, so this is a geo box. It's made by George Brown. Um, it's a type of spirit box that uses, this one actually has a coil on the inside, a vibrational field, if you will. Uh, it uses AM radio frequencies, and there's a, a noise condenser in there that actually condenses the, the uh, that static that you would hear on a normal spirit box. That mm -hmm. So actually you're going to hear just the words coming out. Um, and I love this box. This, this one actually... I've had it for what, seven years now, and this is my favorite box to have, and uh, it, I've gotten such amazing uh, communication out of it, especially here. Are you excited? Did you just hear someone cough? Or, all right, no, I, I could have sworn I heard a voice and I heard someone cough in there just now. I don't know, I don't know. Oh my God, you are. You're I'm really freaking right. out already. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out too. Yeah. I'm going to scoot I up a little bit. Hey, it's Dan. Hey. hey. Already. Immediately. Already. Uh, I just wanted to stop in here tonight. I got some friends that are going to be filming in here and documenting some of the things that that happen in this location. You don't have to be afraid of them. They want to be able to communicate with you and, and hear your stories and, and be able to bring this story of this location out to the, to the world. Who do we have here tonight that wants to come through and speak? You heard thumps up there? Yeah. All right, everyone, all right, I know yeah. everyone heard that. Yeah. Are you coming down the stairs? Do you want to come and speak with us? Down the stairs. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Who, who am I speaking with? Is this Mike? That's me. <laughs> so Mike's the, Mike's the, the brother of the Danny family that Hi, Mike. Are you, uh, is Laura with you? 
Yeah. No. no. Or wait, what it did you hear? It said no. Oh, it said no. I, I thought... heard no. No. Yeah, I heard no too. Did you? I heard no too. You guys can't have the, the, the speakers yeah, flying yeah, towards you. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so. Where's going to be the best place for them to go to investigate? The attic. The attic? Oh, that's what it's, you heard it? bump too. And that's where the bump was. Yes, there was just an, you Yeah. Hear Basement. Is there something evil going on in the land? Cursed. Curse. And that's what we get. A lot of people say that the land is cursed. They call it the Enchanted Mountains. Um, but there was a story, and I was telling you earlier, the story of a medicine woman that actually came back from her tribe, and she was deemed a witch, and they burned her at the stake. Yeah, here in Hinsdale. Is there still something dark here? Probably. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in finding out what this dark thing is, because I don't really believe in demons. So I want to know, what is it? What is here? Do you not like that people are settled on this land? <laughs> so more. Yeah, literally settled. Does that mean you don't like people living here? That's what I'm talking about. Like, if you're scanning radio frequencies, they're not going to swear. No. So, to get a swear word to come out of a box like this is pretty compelling. Are you angry that we're here right now? Asking questions? Hello. Tim? Did they say Tim? I thought I heard Tim. I think I heard Tim too. Well, Tim's, Tim's a pretty prominent guy here. Well, who's Tim? He's, he's been investigating this house for before I owned it. Really? And they, they know him. He's, he's a demonologist. He's a psychic medium. He's, we just want to invite you into this room that you don't need to be afraid of us. We're just here to have a conversation with you. Figure out what's going on in this house. So I'm saying that energy, that negative energy is probably here too. If you keep hearing swear words and stuff, that's usually what that means. And, and a lot of the times when he comes out or it comes out, it suppresses all the other energies, the positive energies that are in the room. How do you usually tell if the match what's good? Um, you start, you, you can feel it. You can feel an energy shift. You, you, you just, your mood changes. You feel tired. Are we able to do an exorcism here? Are you going to be okay with that? I think it's that a j joke. Can one of you tell me how many bodies are buried on the property here? How many do we have yet to find? 20. Were the original owners of the house involved in any way in any sort of murders? I would love to know where the bodies came from. Yeah? Yeah? What's this that I'm pointing at and touching? Will you play the Ouija with us tonight? If we play? Sure. 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 Yeah, I heard sure. Is there something you want from us that we can give you tonight? Blood. Blood. Did you hear that? I, I thought I heard blood. Too. I heard blood like that. Okay, so you want our blood? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're getting like restless now. Yeah. The flies are? Yeah, I see like... I just, it's it's scary. <laughs> As we're talking about the blood and stuff. And Satan, pagan, whatever that was. Who's here with us? Can you come sit down next to me? I feel like you're in the room, but you're scared of getting close to us. Who is this? My name's Connor. My name's Colin. My name's Josh. My name's Radic. You know, the ghost is moving behind you. 
It is actually. The ghost is moving. Oh jeez. What? That's why I put up these things. I hang them. The, the, the trinkets and stuff on the ceiling. Yeah, when you said come next to you and sit down, I seen that. Look at it's still moving. That is crazy. Look at, is it turning around? Yeah, it's moving. Who's moving the ghost? Dude, look at it right there. Yep. I heard me. Uh -huh. I did hear a me. Who are me? And who are you? I stood out to me from the moment that I walked in this room. My dad used to be a painter, and he has like a lot of paintings hanging around my grandma's house. And he has a painting that looks exactly like this. Really? Like, I'm gonna get a picture of it because yeah, I'm telling you, it's like the exact same painting that he painted. Yeah. And he painted it in like the 70s. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. that's trippy. What's your last name? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a f you right before that. Oh, movie. yeah, I did hear a you. Yeah. Why are you saying f you to us? Sick. You're, you're sick or you're a dick or something yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. Well, it seems pretty quiet, so I guess what I'll do is I'll end this spirit box session, guys, and let you add it for the night. I think, uh, I think from what we've heard out of here already, you might have your work cut out for you. I don't know if yeah. you noticed, but that fly's been going absolutely crazy, yeah. just slamming yeah. itself against the ceiling. Yeah, we were hearing it. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was going nuts. Yeah. At first, it was like chill, right? Yeah. And then it started going absolutely nuts. When we started talking about like death and blood and all that yeah. type of stuff, yeah. it was going nuts. What? Well, they're swearing at us. That doesn't sound that good. No. What, why do you say we have our work cut out for us? I just, I think that when I feel like the, the energy is weird in this room right now, and I feel like because the spirit box was shooting out a lot of swear words, usually that entails something of negative nature. So I would just say be on your toes and look out for each other tonight. Work as a team. Don't, yeah. go, don't go alone anywhere outside. Hopefully, I mean, you'll get some good stuff, you know, positive stuff, but maybe you'll document something different too. I got a weird vibe in here. <laughs> I know. Well, the swearing is like weird, so. I feel like when you said, though, there, it feels almost oppressive upstairs. I can feel that. Oh, well, remember, there was already tapping and stuff. Yeah. Thumps, so that's already something's up there. And it said attic. Yeah. So, all right. Did you just hear that female? I heard a giggle. Uh, hey, yeah, like you a, heard giggle. a giggle. Yeah. Like a giggle. Yeah. From over like there. The, like it was laughing at us. <laughs> Should we set our stuff up? I think it's time to like get down. Yeah, get down, guys. Yeah, Let me know going. how it goes. I'm gonna all right. travel to Michigan. All right, all right. Good luck. coming out. So you're leaving us all alone in the state too. Yeah. <laughs> we need help. Well, that's what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, that's, true. that's true. Okay, everybody. So it's about time to start the investigation. It's cold out here. This property has a vibe that you can't even describe. It's really, really strange. You can feel it in there, it's thick. The, the property owner, Dan, he's been telling us all day that he feels oppressed in there, specifically today. He was feeling it in the upstairs. I'm, I'm excited to dig into this, but I'm really genuinely afraid of what might happen based on what we're gonna do tonight. We have some experiments set up, but fuck, dude. Connor? It's very cold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we keep getting really good luck with all these really cold locations, but I will say this place has a very, very intense energy about it. Since the time we showed up here, feels like all the hairs on my neck have been just like on edge. Uh, this place has a huge history, guys. I think tonight we're gonna run into some stuff that might be really scary. Uh, yeah. There's some really creepy haunted dolls in there. The stories alone. Yeah, the stories are Horrifying. crazy. I mean, it's unfathomable stuff that this guy's telling us. Whenever we do demonic investigations or darker ones, Connor, you always seem to get attacked. Yeah, that's one thing I'm I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious about, especially at this place, because people have left here with strong attachments. And so we are taking precautions tonight. Uh, we brought some sage with us. We got a new crucifix today. I've been kind of preparing, preparing uh, energy wise, getting in the right headspace for this investigation, because I think this one is really going to be intense. Me too. I mean, look at it, dude. This is like the creepiest looking house imaginable, isn't it? It's, this is, in my opinion, way scarier than the Conjuring house. This is like, this is fucking like real shit. It's always crazy when it's a residence. Yeah. That's haunted to the point where 
people can't live here. I mean, the family who was living here that was experiencing all this stuff, they didn't just move out of the house down the road. They fled the state. They went all the way to San Francisco. Yeah. Because of this house. I think we're going to meet this thing face to face. I think so as well. Are you ready, man? I am. Let's bring it tonight. I hope dude. you guys are ready. I hope you're ready <laughs> too, guys, because holy shit, I don't know if I am. This is going to be intense. We were obviously with Exploring with Josh, really good friend of ours, Radic, and Connor and I, we, we decided we wanted to do a blood ritual. So if you don't know what the meaning of, of a blood ritual is, there's a lot of different components to it, but basically you're giving some sort of your energy, your life force into this ritual to really try to open up the gates to see who will come through. It's almost like providing a massive battery for this spirit or entity to use to manifest. And I know it's dangerous. I know a lot of people are going to be commenting that we're stupid, but we tried to handle this with as much respect as we could. We cleansed everything. We closed everything out. This house is already known for its evil activity, so it's not like we brought something in there. That's really what people go to this place to document is the true evil side of the paranormal. Yeah, as, as you can see, right when we did the blood ritual, things started to happen. It feels really f***ing weird. It does. Check this out, though. This, looks, this is weird over here. Oh! oh! Jesus. God. <laughs> okay. I never noticed these. The zombie stripper? God. Dang, we already zombie stopped. stripper. Yo, it really is a zombie stripper. <laughs> Why are these in the back? I didn't even <laughs> notice those. That is hilarious. What Yo, it's Rob Zombie. Is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Damn. Too bright. Okay. Well, <laughs> what if we give our blood to the tree? Are you all you all down with that? Like you're okay with that? That's like another way to put ourselves really sure. in with this place. Yeah. You're down? For we'll it? grab it. I'm gonna go get it. You're okay with that too? Bother me, no. What about you, Radek? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna get it. Oh my okay. God. Guys bring, bring a clean and wipe. Alright. Okay, Connor. Oh, oh my God. Alright, alright. I mean, Dude. Well, I'm just going to tag the board. <laughs> That's Dude, we cannot board. put that on YouTube now. Now we gotta blur the Ouija board. Seriously, we do. Oh, what the? What the f Dude, was that? The light just f broke. It just popped. Look, look at that. It just Dude, did you get that out. on camera? Yeah, yeah, you as we just put yeah, the blood yeah, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, Holy yeah. shit! This Wait, yo, okay, put your light on. Okay, that's actually like f bro. Look at this. It like, dude, it broke off. It, it literally broke. broke. What the f I wasn't even touching it or nothing. Dude, this is the second time your shit broke. The last video with Nick Groff that your yeah. camera broke. Dude, that was, dude, you, dude, it's when we put the blood on there, it looked like what? Something just broke off? Just like, like, just pushed down? Off. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. Well, let's go take the rest of our blood and bring it onto the tree. And now we're embedded in both spots. We're doing this a little bit differently tonight because all of us want to see and meet this dark entity that's here. Just inside, just now, we, um, we dripped our blood on the Ouija board in the in the exorcism room where the Ouija board sessions were going on back in the day. And now we're gonna walk into the woods. We're gonna put the rest, I still have blood on my finger, I'm trying to not show it, we all do. And we're gonna put it on the offering tree that's back at the top of the hill where people come and leave items and artifacts in hopes that the spirits will come out. So, let's do you it. hear like a scream just No, now? that's what I mean, I'm telling you, there's something. The moment we just did that shit inside, it changed so drastically my light just broke there we go put our offering down yeah is it this one right here there's the proof of my thumb stab as well that must be it these woods are hella free oh there it is what the camera card just aired out on camera while we're walking up to While the offering. we're walking up to give our blood to the tree. Hit okay. Yeah. What? Cannot recover data. What the fuck, dude? On camera. It just corrupted. What happened? 
happened? Our memory card just corrupted on camera. Right now? Just as we're walking up here. Is, is it, did you, were you able to come back and fix yeah, it? Yeah, but it was just, he was holding it and it just popped and then it went And off. literally, your light was just knocked down when we gave our blood to the board. Yeah, already something's fucking with us, dude. It knows. Here's so the creepy the tree. tree. Right here. Damn, this is a very creepy forest. It is. Isn't it? Well, with the rest of my blood, I'm just gonna tag the tree with it. I wanna tag the bottom of it. I just want, like, my blood onto the land and the tree itself. Let's go. Right in the circle. Oh, that's, I, th oh, I thought I heard a growl at one minute, but I don't know if that was a plane or, or something. Okay, everybody. I am hearing shit all day. I heard a growl. Yeah. Could be a plane, I've heard a though. lot of things around it here. It could be already. a plane. I keep hearing like something. Well, to whoever's out here in the forest, Pukwudgies, skinwalkers, demons, ghosts, people, children, follow our voices tonight. Walk down these stairs right here and come into the house at the bottom of the hill. My name's Colin. My name's Josh. I'm Connor. And I'm Raddick. Just come, follow our voices, we're not afraid of you. We want to talk. We gave you our blood. Now give us some of your energy in return. Could be coyotes or something. It's still though. It's in the background though, yeah. You know, it's interesting. This tree is supposed to have good energy. I get like a really bad vibe from this area. Like the whole area is supposed to be haunted, bro, though. Remember yeah. the whole land has issues here. Puck wedgies, skinwalkers, shapeshifters. We don't know what could be out here. With all the Native American burials that has happened here too, we just don't know. Well, we're gonna find out tonight. We are. Oh, remember, they said there's five bodies buried in the back, so. Yeah, and there's indigenous burial mounds up here in this area. It's probably one of the uh, dream catchers. Whether you want us here or not, we're staying here. And we're gonna be inside that house. We really want you to join us. Tell us your story, who you are, or what are you. We wanna learn about you. We wanna know why you guys are haunting this place and what evil lurks here. Somebody back there? Well, whoever you are, meet us inside the house because we're going in. That felt it's, dark. It's thick up here, that dude. Felt dark. It's incredible. Like, I feel like I'm like in danger up here in a weird way. Like even like animals or somebody, it's like I get like spines or my all the hairs up on my neck. Yeah, no, it's it's a dark. This whole area feels dark. If you don't want us here, you can come into the house, make yourself known, and show us that you don't want us here. Scare us away and we'll leave. So let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go in. Let's go back. In. Here we go. Yo, did we shut that door or not? I, I did. Oh, what? you did? Only halfway. The gate? Because look the at the gate. door. I, I, Wait, that's really heavy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Dude, like, was okay. the door always like that? Or I'll not? show you what I did. So I was the last one to leave, right? Right. I only shut it about this far, and I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. And then it just stopped. Right. And I left the house. So right. maybe. So we here. already got yeah, some. I think it's weird because what that means is almost like it doesn't want us to come back in. Yeah, like they kept us Or even, even it's a good spirit that shut the door and said, you don't want to f with whoever's in there tonight. 
that. It's like a straight up fucking like. And at least you're being honest too, because. Oh yeah, no. You could have been like, I didn't touch that that gate. I pushed it, but I didn't shut it. Exactly. I left it like this. You're being honest. Yeah. Yeah, No, dude, to push that back. I mean, dude, this is a heavy ass door. And and it stopped. Because I tried to push it closed, right, and it stopped. And that's me swinging it. Exactly. Stopped in a different spot. Right. All right. It doesn't just continue on. Yeah, no, that's already something, you know, bad. No, that's not good at all. It feels different too, man. It does feel a bit, yeah, more it dark. Heavy. Now, huh? It does feel sure. a bit weird. I mean, we definitely gave our blood to the board, blood to the lands. I mean, this is going to be. We might I think take we might have messed far. up. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that. What do you, well, let's so find we, out if we did. So <laughs> what, should we go to the. Now we go straight to the Ouija then and start yeah, this. Yeah, now we got to really, really start this, I think. Yeah. It's time, dude. Wait, what's We're literally just yeah, setting what, up the equipment. Was this one just flashing yeah. too? Wait, is that one flashing too? I no, saw, I saw that flash, Connor. <laughs> oh, there it is! It is, it is, dude! It is! Oh my god! That one is also hitting. The f***? Yo! We're just setting up. Like, we're off camera Like, too. we're making coffee before we start. Yeah, literally. Yo, that is... That's going crazy. Dude, look at that thing. And I just told you that I got a bad vibe all of a sudden. I know, and it was all off literally. camera, like, no bullshit. You, oh my god. Yo, that's wild, dude. Both of them too. That green. You that see, was, yeah. I know. We were. I didn't. We didn't catch that one. Yeah. Can you tap that one again, dude? That one won't even stop. No. Oh, I heard like a, a, tap. a tap. I heard yeah, a tap too. There. So there's someone up there already watching us. Yeah. They don't want to. Dude, it feels like dude, it's gonna be. Are they just standing on the stairs? I'm gonna reset this. Yo. Yeah. He feels this is a bad vibe. You were just getting your coffee yeah, really quick. Right there on the table in the and green then cup. it went crazy. Yeah. And I even I said, yo, what the heck? Yeah. And you were like, shoo, 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 filming on film yep. mode. I get it. I get and it. that okay. one over there was hitting too. Yeah. Both I, of them. All right. Oh my God. All right. This is getting crazy. We're okay. going to set up the equipment for real, for real, and just get right Let's up go, in this. man. It did three blinks and it stopped. And it was facing right at the dolls, right? Yeah. Dude, Dude. we can't even set up in here. And Dan said, Dan said that the dolls move if you don't. Already. Gotta get this. We're still setting up. I'm now getting the music box set, which is going off. I can't even, we can't even set up. No. I'm trying to get this to stop. Dude. I don't know what to do. Dude, and that's going on. Damn it. It's fing light, dude. It's still going off though. And it's Some, going off I like crazy. hate whatever's in here. And dude, your your music box was going off in the other room facing the dolls. What were you saying about the door opening too? Well, I just keep like closing the door and it's opening. Dude, you think? I don't know if it's just because of- You think there's someone door. just there? I mean, that's why- Guys, I mean, it doesn't stop. It doesn't do that. It doesn't stop and that one doesn't stop. And does dude, that mean someone's just sitting I think here? I sitting on the yeah. stairs. Because this that move. should not be going on. No, because it would already calibrate by now. This is ask ridiculous. Them, ask them if they can uh, push a ball or something. Can you push one of these ping pong balls down the stairs if you see them? All right. I'm on edge, man. All right. Well, we're about to be finished setting yeah. up. Yeah, we got to get this shit cracking. What's going on? No. This was on last night and wasn't doing this. Yeah, no. Did it not go off at all? Last yeah. Night? yeah. No, no, it didn't go off once. All right, right here. So with Connor's previous work in the past, with his time spent as a person who dived so deep into religion, he was present at so many exorcisms, real life exorcisms, um, we've noticed that these entities seem to target him or they get annoyed, they get pissed off when he's with us filming these investigations. And so to be in a place that is truly, if anything, demonically haunted, we knew that this thing was gonna be angry and we wanted to capture its presence. I mean, the moment that we started filming that night, as you can see in the footage, it was already coming out. But to really start the investigation, we wanted to do a Ouija board in the room where in the past the family had been using the Ouija board and the room where the exorcism also took place, the exorcism that failed. The house's tragic history is so interesting to be able to explore, but we felt like doing a proper Ouija board in that room was what we needed to do to really kick things into motion that night. It's not me. Oh! That one too! Left side and right. All right. Yo, what the f Oh. Oh.
Well, like, oh, dude, in, this is the first time we sat down, bro. Yeah. And look at this. It sat down with us. We're it came getting, in the room over there. Look at this, bro. And it sat with us. Because this has been sitting here. Dude, what the f so, yeah, they're just talking, listening to us. By the way, remember, that's the object that was thrown. Yeah. That's the object yeah, that was true. thrown. During uh, Dandy's family. This Body? This, right now? Yeah. Said body? Don't tell people. Don't. Oh. Body. Don't, don't tell people. Oh, oh, and this thing just went crazy, dude. Did you see that? What, it's, it's spike two? Yes, this thing went all the way to the top with EMF. All right. I'm getting chills. Yeah. Fuck, and now it's quiet again. Okay. Oh, by the way, before we get any in crazier into it, this is the photo of the priest that did the exorcism here. Just so everyone knows, right here. Just wanted to say that. You ready to do this? Yep. So you've done them before. Obviously, we have our blood all donated. Patricia. Board. Patricia. So I'll, is it two hands or one? We can two. do, it's typically two. Is it? Yeah. Should I get in there as well since my blood's on it? Okay. Spike. Whoa. And, yeah. And the MF. The hell? Someone's just like hovering over us, it seems. This is freaking me out, man. Alright, so to start this session here, Connor. I miss my family. I miss my family, <sighs> miss my family and the family was. Well, there was here. three other families The here, family yeah. members are still here in the house, like he was saying in the tour, especially the girl who took her own life. Yeah, exactly. But Josh and I and Connor are going to start this Ouija board session. Josh has never done a Ouija board. No, I no, I I had like. Are you too scared? <gasps> oh my god! Are you too scared to do it? No. Literally, Josh, you just said. Oh, Josh, it what came was in that? The room oh, it came in the room, Josh. It did. It just all right. That just lit up, and it says, "Are you too scared?" <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm scared. But I have never really like successfully done a good one. Yeah, no, this is us, and it seems like you know we donate our blood to you guys. Let's really try it. Oh, f I got chills, man. Dude, yeah, this is insane. Yeah, we're gonna. Open up the portal and let whoever is here in the house or whatever it well, is we already, come in. Yeah, we already sacrificed some blood. Yeah, so. we got the blood here, and now it's time We're to here. really. We're tied, guys. Tied. We're tied to the to the land and to the house. Yeah. Just move in a circle. I'm calling out right now to anybody in this house, whether you're a human, a demon, a good spirit, a bad spirit, whatever you are. You have total freedom to come out tonight. You heard that hum? Mm -hmm. That was a girl. Thumb. But please, when we take our hands off of this planchette, feel free to come through. What's that? Weird vibes in here. Energy. Energy. Ener yeah. Weird vibes. Everyone it feels energy. it. So now you want to barely touch it. Are you here with us? Heard, th heard that thump mm -hmm. too. It kind of feels like it's moving a tiny bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know, but it wants to go down. What is that? I mean? know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like it, it's literally, it's like going downward. And I don't, I don't f with Ouija boards. Like, I'm not, I'm I'm never, not like, like a Ouija board. We did one at this. Wealthy. Wealthy. Yeah. You can move this little green thing if you want. Be quiet and listen. It's moving. Innocent. Yeah, it's really strange that it's going to goodbye because if you have ever read or studied anything about Ouija boards, that's a very bad sign. That's what It people, just keeps going I down. Know, and I'm not, you know, I've done Ouija boards with people that were obviously trying to push it. This is not what that looks like. This is just us barely touching it and it's like moving downwards. And usually if something says goodbye right away, it's not a, uh, a good entity. It's almost like it wants to go to the left, too. Okay, we're gonna be quiet and listen for a second, like you asked. Can you say something? 
feel it picking up. Yeah. I'm following it, but I'm Me like, too. it's on four. four. I don't know it's grandma. It, it's grandma. It's grandma. Does it flow with us? What's four? Are you going to four or goodbye? Look, look at that. Look at how perfectly it's centered on four. With the blood too. Yeah. Unless it's four of us, like three. Oh. Like is the one dude, person that. There's four of us, bro. I don't know. Dad gave four, me a chill, man. For what? Ooh, I got goosebumps when you said yeah. that, actually. That's, that's my ass. I'm just a suit. It stayed on four for a grip. But it's still going down. Dude, what if it goes to four of us and then goodbye? That's no, that's what, what it's doing. doing. It's Ben. As in, like, it goodbye to the four of us. The thing is with Ouija boards is if something goes to goodbye or to the edge of the board immediately, that's what a lot of researchers say. It's like a demon, or typically important, Im like important, like goodbye, yeah. like stop. We don't want to talk. It's basically any time you go to the edge of the board, that means that whatever you're talking to, the moment you're taking your hands off, is going to leave the board and so, be there with you. Should we just take our hands off then? I think so. How can we get any darker? We did everything we need with the blood ritual stuff, straight to four, as if there's another person here, and then straight to goodbye. Ooh. I feel cold. Yeah. You feel that? My feet was getting yeah. actually like the breeze down below. All right, let's put it in the center then. Okay, Please. if you're here and you want to talk to us, we're going to take our hands off now. I heard a tap. Was that, I heard a tap yeah. as soon as you took uh -huh. your hands off. So you're free now. So who's here with us now? That's crazy how it went totally silent after we did the Ouija. Well, this hole in the ceiling, it's got the... Uh, the metal over it, but that goes right into the uh, master Yes, bedroom. I'm here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and I was saying, I have this weird uh, like image that's in my head right now, that someone's like like laying on the floor like looking down at us. Yeah. Okay, I don't like that. And then it says immediately, yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. We're just talking about it, you know? They're saying, hey, so we know you're here. So who are you? Spike. Oh, yep. It's going off. Right, right there, right, right there. Right pointed. He's hey, right here. Stronger. Do something stronger. Now that you're here, touch that red light next to it. Accident. Accident. Oh, dude, it was or it's orange. He's just giving us these these perfect signs. We yeah. know they're here. Are you evil? Are you mad at? <gasps> yes. Right when you said, "Are you evil? Are you a demon?" You can say yes by touching this red light. What the fuck was that? Do you want to hurt? Hear that? It's like oh, like over this way. It sounded like it was outside, honestly. Well, this whole property is haunted. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, we know they're here. Dude, what, what, this is so trippy, man. <gasps> this what? said outside, Cotter, and I, it didn't go off. Look at this, bro. Right when you said you heard something outside, and we no, just talked that about that. that. You see that? <gasps> oh! 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 What the f oh! oh! And the cat ball! And the cat ball! Okay. She killed me. She killed me. So is this is this person who's she? Look. No, it wasn't your phone. See? It Connor, show this. Look at it. I just took my phone and just to someone like, was just talking and it was a girl mm -hmm. and it said she it was killed. I You heard that. should dig here. Fucking bodies, dude. Five bodies buried here. She yeah, killed they're, they're me. outside. You should dig here. I'm hearing stuff outside. It says outside. Maybe there's another victim. I know there's other victims. Bro, I'm hearing voices in there right now. Do you think we should do an EV? Should I take the DR60? Yeah, do the DR60. Yeah, for we're sure. gonna go get it. All right, we're gonna get the DR60 right now and then sit and see if we can talk to the person that we think is literally or I know is right here. Dude, Look, I'm just feeling like yeah. Honestly, <gasps> what death? Death. <clears throat> death. Really good way to start that. Yeah, the moment we start again. All right, so I'm gonna hit record on this, and we're just gonna start asking questions. Should I put it by there on the board? On the board. Okay, one, two, three. Who's ever with us right now? We have a device. 
that's on the Ouija board. And if you talk into it, we'll be able to understand and hear you and communicate. So I'm gonna ask you this, who are you? Do you wanna hurt one of us? Visitor. Are there people walking around outside? Is heaven real? There's two of us. Did you like when we gave you our blood? Speak. This device just died. Died? Yeah, look at it. It died, dude. Just now? Yeah, look at this. Fully charged. It's fully dead. They just sucked it right out. And completely on camera, too. See, it should always have this purple yeah. ring on it, and it just... Now it's back. What the fuck? What the hell? All right, we're going to play this back then. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna get right up into it so we can all hear. Whatever listens right now, we have a device that's on the Ouija board. And if you talk into it, we'll be able to understand and hear you and communicate. So I'm gonna ask you this. Who are you? Do you want to hurt one of us? Are there people walking around outside? Is heaven real? Did you like when we gave you our blood? Nothing on that one. No. Nothing on that one, but they died a long time ago. Yeah. This was my home. This was, oh my gosh, show that. This was my home. They're literally having big conversations with us. It's like this, the, though. it's the woman, I think. This was my home. One of, died a long time ago. It's connecting. I think it's the woman who took her own life or a member of the family and some darker force. There's both of them here tonight. For the first time, I've never done this. We're gonna do two EVPs, DR60s, at the same time. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Am I? I've been watching you. I've been watching you. Yes. That's not good. Well, they're probably angry. If you're watching us, come closer into the room like you did before. We're gonna place them down then. Ready? One, two, three. Prepare. What do we need to prepare for? Are you gonna show yourself to us tonight? What's the name of the woman Control. that's in the room with us? Is heaven real? Will you get mad if we say a prayer in here? Is there someone trying to latch on to me right now? Is there a portal connected to this house? Personally, I feel like there's somebody upstairs waiting for us and I have a very very bad feeling in my stomach about whoever's up there or whatever's up there what's waiting for us two men here two men here as soon as you said that bro and didn't it say earlier there's two of us there's two of us yeah it did on the other one uh-huh so it's all connecting mm -hmm. together all of them is it the Everett brothers that are here with us right now? The killers. Scary. Oh my god. You wanna play him back? Yeah. Bro, I just got... I keep getting chilled. Yeah, I'm Me like, too. I'm, I'm, goosebumps, dude, man. all yeah. my hair is on end and all of a sudden. It's not a coincidence because I'm not the only one. You're not the no. only one. We're both it's insane. Feeling, we're both feeling something. I feel like someone's like squeezing my head right now. Like, pressure? Like, insane pressure in my head. Wait, didn't you say, because, like, Whoa. you were, like, a, a uh, church, like, churchgoer? Yeah. I'm Hello. A, Hello. Oh. Right when we said, dude, I'm actually full-on goosebumps all of a sudden. I was like, that came on, like, out of nowhere, dude. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeling like there's someone, like, standing right here beside me that's, like, pulling energy off of me. We could play these back. Yeah. Wanna do yours first? Um, let's see, let's do yours first. Okay. Let's listen to this one. Hall. Oh. Hall. If we're out in the hall, I'm gonna ask one more time, can you push one of those ping pong balls down? Still touches that. 
Dude, this is so trippy, man. I know. And the K2 going wild. Deserve. Deserve. We don't deserve that? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Very cute. Oh, what? Music box. Behind you, Connor. Audrey. Are you behind me right now? You said you were feeling something behind If you're behind me, come walk over to me. Tap me on the shoulder. Let me know you're here. I'm not afraid of you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Let's, sir. Are you going to show me? Yeah, hang on. Did it say me? I don't what do we need to prepare for? Sounds like you me. Are you going to show yourself to us tonight? What's the name of the woman that's in the room with us? Is Kevin real? Will you get mad if we say a prayer in here? Is there someone trying to latch on to me right now? Is there a portal connected to this house? Desperate. Personally, I feel like there's somebody upstairs waiting for us. And I have a very, very bad feeling in my stomach about whoever's up there. Or whatever's up there. What's waiting for us? Two men here. Two men here. And who did he say that, bro? Didn't he say earlier there's two of us? Yeah. So it said, what do you have to prepare for? Or who do you have to prepare for? It said me. Yeah, it sounded like me. Me. Well, dude, they've been playing with all these devices. That's what I mean. Triggering shit. We haven't had a REM pod go off in like three videos. So to even see this go off on the stairs has been crazy for me. And it's like it was going off at the stairs at first, and then it came in here. It's been playing with all this stuff. And I'm like genuinely afraid to go upstairs. The upstairs is hard. Oh, no. Can you give us a, th a stop if you're upstairs? Where are you in the house? I'm in the shadows. Oh my god. <laughs> that means it would be in like a idea like a corner. Upstairs, bro. Like a corner There's upstairs. No lights in upstairs. the closet. Holy shit. Bro. Oh, I, I got, got chills again. It could be the closet. That's where the person their eyes went black. Yeah. The owner said the eyes the person's eyes went black in the closet. I'm like just on edge. Like it, I yeah. feel like here at any time anything could happen. No, no, it's Seth. 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 He was supposed to be here tonight. I've never heard Seth on that. Me either. I wonder if, yo, that's crazy. Shout out to Seth, though. Shout out to <laughs> Seth. Shout out to Seth. Soldier. 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 He said there was a revolutionary war. It was like a lot of stuff was going on around right. here. Can I you? Just, I, no, oh, my bad. <laughs> I just feel like, like it's like attaching on to us all now, feeling us out. He screams. I was about to ask, bro. I was literally about to ask, can you like. scream for me? That's what I was about to say, dude. Should when you, you cut me off. Yeah, my and bad. Try no. Yeah, no, try I asking. A... Unless he screamed and it's on there. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, well, if he screams, can you scream really loud for us? Come on. Something like, ah! I 
I feel like I'm like kind of being like beckoned upstairs. Some part of me just like like I feel like we need to go upstairs. Me too. We we could go up there. Did, we, oh, was that the music box? No, I think that was footsteps. Footsteps and a scream or something. Conjure. Can you make another noise, please? We loved that. Ours. Should we play back if it actually screamed? Yeah. I'm very curious. Play yours. Oh! Oh! A demon here! And don't mess with me. It's literally like just waiting for us to, to mess with him. I mean, dude. Like it's testing, it's literally testing us this whole time. He screams, conjure Good a morrow. demon. Good here. morrow. Good morrow? I don't know what that one is. It's <laughs> a friendly greeting. Good morrow. Yeah. Good morrow. Good morrow, Swire. Alright, so you want to sit in yeah. silence? Let's do it. Okay. We're going to sit here silently like you asked us to for a couple minutes. If you're upstairs and you want us to come talk to you, run across the floor, bang on something. Fine. Evil. Evil. Stay back. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm gonna play I'm gonna stop this. I'm getting the craziest chills Brilliant. right now. Me too, Dude, man. That's insane. You're like, oh I, I said evil. This went off. Right. I say, I you said go you went upstairs. Please, Please stay, stay back. back. <laughs> you that's you. intelligent as hell. Join us. Join, Join us! us. <laughs> so one good, one evil. Yeah. That's like crazy. fighting over us. Oh, dude, that gave me goosebumps. That's again. cool. That is insane. Join us. That's, That's some out of a insane. horror movie. Join us. Was it wasn't me or were the footsteps coming from the stairs? Yeah, they were. But it's like, I don't, it's this is the evil one talking to us. Yeah. This one is maybe one of uh, the daughter that killed well, herself. They said this, yeah, a few family people that are nice here. Remember, Dan said there's evil and there's good, and it says when it gets evil, <clears throat> it gets it gets evil. Remember he said that? Yeah. It was like, it's going to turn over. Ooh, I got the chills. I mean, dude, what the f- I heard it again. Make another tap. We'll come up if you want it. I f***ing heard it. Louder? I'm really here. Guess where I am. Oh my god! Dude, I've never ran two before. It's so interesting. I've never ran two. Oh, oh, oh that could be me because I moved my arm that time. I've, I got full body can't. chills. Me too. Me too. That's insane. Really that is right. insane. Right. Like, right like that. Dude, well, yeah. now, now it's taunting us. I'm and really here. Guess where I am. Oh, listen. Yeah, yeah. listen, yours. We are gathering energy. Oh my god, they're getting ready. Dude, all of a sudden this thing is going ham. All of them are going ham. Dude, in like a couple like minutes. Like am, we're gathering energy. You better watch out. This is getting good. In a couple minutes it's going to go to And this wire. person's saying, stay back. Like, yeah. don't go. And that person's like, no, come on. Well, yeah, come on I up here. Join us. Guess where I am. We're gathering energy. And it's fucking cold dude it's like cold there's a heater on and it's blowing heat on us yeah but it's still giving us we're still getting chills like it's crazy. the type of cold where you can like feel the cold sitting yeah. like right here but know? like the cold feels like low 
Yeah, yeah. Look, it's, it's not like right here. Yeah, it's, it's like, like here. right here ish. On different spots. Because like my head's warm right now. Yeah. Like really warm, but then like from here down, I'm like freezing cold. <laughs> Mike, is that you with us? Standing behind you. <gasps> Bro, on command to you, Connor. You kept saying someone's over there. I'm right done. behind you. You said that on camera. And your light just died. You're pointing out that something Look. just sucked your energy out of that light. We're gathering energy. It just took the energy from the IR light. Dude, my entire back feels like it has goosebumps. No. Like it's cold. And it's and this is not the first time. True. true. <gasps> Confirming. Literally. They're saying Confirming. True. <laughs> wow, dude. What the f***, man? What happened? I literally just had this shooting pain from my ankle. That Upset me. Upset me. As you said that. Literally. What? Ow, bro. It's in my. Yes, head. it's me. Yes, it's me. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm like, dude, that freaks me the fuck out because right when I said that, it was this pain that went from my ankle up through my leg, like my whole body, like a shooting pain, like three times. So I just had to point that out. There is. Well, it just said upset me. I'm yeah, telling that's you me. right I now. Said that. Yeah. There is something extremely evil here, and it's trying to gain our trust. It's saying things that are enticing to us, but really it's just luring us into a trap. Oh, no. It wants us to go upstairs, but we shouldn't go upstairs. But I feel like I should go upstairs. That's what I mean. I need to for answers, but I'm like, that's where the f***ing, the apex of the haunting is. Is going upstairs a trap? If shadow. It is, oh. Shadow back in the closet. Dude, where are you? In the shadows. Going upstairs. Shadow. So that means we just have to go up. Yeah. All right. We're going to come up there. What? There's bad here. Oh my bro. Spirit Tarker is like on point. On fire right now. On point. <clears throat> I guess before we go upstairs, I just want to ask, should we go upstairs? Is that a good idea? If it's not a good idea, you can touch one of these lights too. Step over by the dolls. K2, K2. On command to what you said. Yeah, light that up all the way if it's a bad idea to go up there. Keep going. We need something bigger than that. <gasps> Holy f guys. That's scary. Actually. That's really scary, actually. Dude, and... They literally just warned you not to go upstairs. Like, someone literally just did. Dude. As, no joke. As we're sitting here, not only did I have that pain in my leg, I'm having a shooting, like a stabbing pain. Behind your eye? Behind Distract. my eye. That's the same thing that's happening to me right now. Behind Massive my head? headache? Yes. It's like behind my eyes though. Like deep, me too. deep pressure. Dude, it's behind, I was before <clears throat> you even said that. Yeah, it keeps going. And it's like, I can feel it in my teeth. Yeah. That's how strong it is. It's going from the middle of my forehead into my teeth. There's dude. something right. definitely strong here. Like, ow, bro. Did I even move back and it's still going, dude. Just to show it's not me. So we shouldn't go upstairs? I mean, it said no. Look at this. Look at it. It does not want us up there. Concerned. Concerned? Con Concerned. Oh, dude. This, something really is messed up up there. Yeah. Like, 100,000%. I feel like whatever's in this room is a decent whatever. Maybe the pain in your leg is like they're warning you not to, to go Not up. to like, walk. Hey, seriously, don't go up. Yeah, that's me. Distract. Kill. Kill. Looks like we get packing up, boys. <laughs> he even said on the way here, what if one of us gets killed? I did say that. Literally, I did. Are you going to kill one of us up there? Or how about, let me ask you, if you're the good spirit. Good spirit's oh, here. What? Good spirit's here. Bro! No, what the no. hell, man? We're literally, you can't even make this up. Dude, that was the moment I said that, too. So if you're a good spirit, is there somebody, can you tell us by lighting that up again? Cursed. Oh my god. He was just, he was saying cursed. that this Blind place, is cursed. a lot of people are saying this place is cursed. On the interview. That's what he said, or on, the ca on camera in the interview. That's what he <laughs> said. This place is cursed. This land is cursed. Is there something evil going on in the land? Cursed. Cursed. So you think, it, it might be the Native 
Look below! The basement? Look below. The ba yeah, it would have to be the basement. I, he, he said it was a really small area. I've never That's seen it. That's where the bodies were kept, supposedly. Jeez. So then who's upstairs? That's, I oh, think unless the, the land's cursed, so technically about the bottom of the basement oh. is still part of the land. The top part is has an evil dude upstairs. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Dude, this place has very bad energy. It does. Like, I can... Channel. Channel. Well, that's exploring with Josh. We're the paranormal files. Channel. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. It's <laughs> a good plug. What are you gonna do to Josh upstairs? He wants to know that. <laughs> Throw me under the bus. <laughs> you, you asked. Yeah, that's true. You know. Or me. You can do it to me too. Dual access method upstairs. Yeah. I think definitely. With a screwdriver. One man here. Now there's one man here. What the hell happened to the other man? He went upstairs. Okay, well. All right. I think it's time. So while we were doing the Ouija board stuff downstairs and just collecting evidence uh, downstairs in the exorcism uh, room, I kept feeling this uh, like beckoning force that was wanting to bring us upstairs. But I mean, we also were just hearing loads and loads of noises and stuff coming from upstairs. So we do what we have to do. We go upstairs. So at that time, we decided we wanted to go upstairs. There was something calling us upstairs. We were hearing the noises. It was giving us signs through our equipment that we needed to go up. And if you ask anybody that's ever investigated the Hinsdale house, it's the upstairs where this evil lives. That one specific room that branches off of the main bedroom, that's the, the portal room or whatever you would want to call it. And so to try to dig into this haunting and try to figure out what is in that house, we decided to pack our stuff up and move to the top floor. Now, I don't know if that was a mistake or if that was, um, that was a good thing that we did that, but either way, this is when, um, when things got terrifying. Some of these EVPs that you're about to hear are unlike anything I've ever heard before. And yeah, th this place is evil. Yeah, it's still going. So once again, oh dude, look at Ooh. that. The K2 on the doll, the EMF reader. Josh and Radix. Now set it stopped. This. Oh no, it's going. Look at that. Should we bring the doll up as a trigger object? Yeah, we could. Sure. Because why is Let's the doll do going Let's off? Let's do it. Yeah, we'll leave the one in the case with the angel wings in there. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button and comment the demon house in the comments section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So go comment, you can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. And we have some really exciting collabs coming up soon. Videos with Exploring with Josh, Nick Groff from Ghost Adventures and Twin Paranormal, along with some other really, really crazy investigations, locations and evidence. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. So, interestingly, do you hear him? I thought I heard something up there. Right when we got up to come to the stairs, to go upstairs, look at bro. What f just started going off? I know, it's like, cause we're not recording no. I mean, when it goes off. It's like a warning us not to go upstairs. We're getting all our gear and we're bringing it upstairs. And it's like, that happened like right when we decided, let's go up. It's like there's somebody, that signal is so strong. It's like someone standing there saying, don't come up. Yeah. You know? I'm f I don't freaked know. out to go up. I'm actually like scared. I don't like this house at all. No, I'm gonna say it. I do not like this energy here. And it's colder, dude. You can feel it if you put dude, your hand out. From here to here, it's crazy cold. From here to, to here, here is also f***ing crazy cold. Right, so, I mean, the idea is we, yeah, we, the idea is we just gotta go up and <laughs> pray. Let's yeah. see what Where happens. Okay, so. These bugs are swarming Connor all of a sudden. So, 
we're up here. Um, we're in the top story of the Hinsdale house. If you remember earlier in the tour, this room right here is what psychics and investigators describe as the room that is the focus of this haunting and where it all stems from, like the portal. They warned us not to come up here, but here we are. Yeah, I know, but now I'm just like waiting to see what are they gonna do? Is something gonna get thrown? Are they gonna- Run now. Run, Run now? Oh my God. They've been nonstop warning us and hurt, like trying to hurt us or some way. Yeah. Every Everything they could have done, I feel like they've done to keep us from coming up here in every sign. We're up here now. Um, we want to talk to the evil thing. We gave you our blood. We have been nice to you all night. But if you are the thing that likes to hurt people, the, the loft. The loft. We're upstairs right now. This is <laughs> kind of like a loft. If you are the evil thing, you need to get the hell out here and talk to us. Stop fucking with us right now. There's a flashlight on that cabinet. You can go turn on. We can talk with that. I just want to know why you're so evil. Many died here. Many Dude, died Your light here. just died. Dude, it just drained your- Light just died. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. Did it drain your energy? On the battery? It's dead. It's dead. It's completely fried, bro. Oh my what? god. Um, unless they just took all your energy because they're about to do something nuts. Yeah. Oh, the light came on over there. Flashlight? Oh, yeah, look God. at it. Oh, I see it. Okay, turn that on all the way if you're here. No, turn it on all the way, light it up. Uh. Up. Up. The loft up. up. They're all describing this area, the, yeah. up, the upstairs. Well, we need to go grab another battery for that light. I'll let you. Good luck, dude, down there. Good luck, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, hip squeaks. Wait, alright. That's the REM pod. Uh, yep, okay. So REM pod's going off in Laura. Is it Lauren's room? Laura. Laura? I can't see up there. That's fine. Laura's room. Jesus, dude. <laughs> So just letting everyone else know, I'm feeling a little dizzy up here. Just starting. Your light went off, we're getting stuff. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Don't know what, something. Who knows what this thing wants? That's what I don't, yeah, so. We gave you our blood. You told us not to come up here. We're up here. What do you want? Kill, kill, no. kill, again. And that's on a different phone, too. Totally different phone that I just brought <laughs> out. Starting off the bat right now. That's a to kill. How are you going to kill one of us? Do you have the power to actually kill us? Sacred. Go forward. <gasps> Josh. And that's into that room. Yes. You need to go no. in the room. Go in there. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to do it. Now. I'm hearing Whoa. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Guys, I'm gonna go go I'm gonna go forward. Or maybe it wants you in that room. No. Footsteps down there? I think you should sure go in you... that room. But remember everything was happening in that room and that's where it said go forward. I was yeah. staring at this room. Yeah, yeah. But that's supposed to be the bad room. Laura, is that, that you? Room, I don't know which room to go into. Laura, if that's you, can you step away from that light? I'll go in, I'll, I'll keep this Do recording. It. It, it's like it's, it literally told you, go forward to that room. And it said kill. Unless it's gonna actually kill me. Get in there <laughs> You know You know that meme, like, f around and find out? Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's kind of like what just happened. I'm gonna go in that room, it wants me in there, I'm going in, I'm gonna keep this recording. And maybe we should ask questions while I'm in there? Yeah. Yeah, go lay down on the bed. I'm recording now and I'm going into the room it wants me to go into. Reset that REM pod too. Are you going to kill me? I'm upset. I'm upset. Can you speak to Josh in there? I... What was... Candles. That? 
That wasn't you, Josh? No. Feels really dark in here, though. Like, it's not good. I'm gonna play this back really quick. Yes, over here. Yes, Ooh. over here. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Happened here. Oh my god. Something wrong happened here. So we didn't answer on here. But the mo there was a huge thump though that happened a minute, like a little while ago here. Oh, my IR light just shut off. Five. 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 Bodies buried in the yard. Could be that. I'm here though. Something feels wrong now. All of a sudden. Why am I gonna ride my cheek and I have to like flick it off? It's on your camera right now. The bugs? On yeah. The, yeah, the bugs messing with your- Dude, one laid it on my face and it didn't want to come off. I had to flick it. I'm seeing it from my angle on you guys. That's another sign of demonic. Yeah, the bugs are sign of demonic. And I still have a ringing in my ears when it goes quiet. Mm-hmm. Something big is about to happen, I think. Dude, for real though. It's been building up. Someone's coming. Oh my god, dude. It's like they're just waiting. They're ready. Who's coming? Can you answer me that? Who is coming? She died. Are you talking about Laura? Who is coming? What? She died and he died? Different devices too? Oh, I feel bad. I feel weird. I mean, I'm dizzy in here. I was dizzy over there though too, so... How do you feel? I feel very uneasy. Agitated. <laughs> All these words are so negative, dude. He died, she died, desperate, agitated, like, I'm upset. What the f***? She died. She died, he died, she died. What would that mean? I think I'm just gonna move out then. I did what I had to do. Everything wanted me to go there, it seems. But nothing happened. It was like later. Did your light just die again? Huh? What the, what the hell? F dude. No way. That's the second fucking battery. What the f Okay, now that's that's getting really strange. I'm <laughs> taking all the energy slowly, like little by little kind of build up for something. Unless, that's what I mean, unless the room I had to go into or whoever to say go forward was this one. Yeah. Maybe we that's what I that keep one. thinking because everyone said that's supposed to be the evil room. Yeah. But I did go inside that one. It was still weird, but regardless, it just... I mean, I don't two, know. two full batteries in a row. And these don't die that fast. No, it takes usually two days of shooting for one to die fully. I don't want to go back down there again. That's the second time to go back down. They really are draining you, bro. You gotta go down again, bro. That's why you were right. What the f was no, that? that was the bed. Was that one of you guys? You were leaning on it, right? No, no it's just oh my. this thing. Then yeah, um, that was the bed. The bed just creaked, dude, in the back corner. That was trippy. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. God, dude, I have all of a sudden a fucking <coughs> again. <coughs> But it's, it literally is like, once again, Connor stabbing. Like someone's taking a f***ing knife and stabbing me in the center of my forehead. I'm just dizzy. That's the same thing as I got up here. It's just dizzy. Should we, should we go in that Batteries way? are drained. 
if I go in that room, I'm waiting or someone until he gets new batteries, regardless. Yeah, I need to get a battery. Yeah, bud. Sad. Look at that, though. Hate. Sad. Down again. Oh! He's here! He's here, man! Uh, he's, he's here. here. I was rolling on that. You wanna take that light down there? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Did I just say I'm here? He said, yes, I'm here. And now it said, yes, I'm here. Yep. He's here. Yes, I'm here. Yes. That's bizarre. Yeah. That is really Two different weird. devices. He's here. Oh. Yes, I'm here. At the same time. Oh. That's what I'm saying, dude. That is something supposed to happen. Listen. Schlissen. Schlish. Schlissen. Schlissen. Alright, let's listen. Oh. Connor, you should go in there and do a DR60. Okay. okay. Alright, I'm in Mary's room right now. Can you tell me who's with me right now? He scares me. Are you afraid of me? So you kept saying, he's coming, he died, I'm here. He scares yeah. people. He scares me, he scares people. Who is he? He's here, who is he? Adam. Adam. Who is he? The children sing. Maybe that's a nickname that they have for the the bad guy. I'm feeling very, very uneasy in here. What's going on up here? I know there's something there's something evil up here. Is there a demon in this house? Where are you? I would really love to hear your voice or to hear you bang on something, shut a door. Can you do that for us so we know that you're actually here and we're talking to you? Come in here. Does sound like that. One more. It does the sound devil. like the devil. the devil. Dude, put that. Are you frightened? Right when it said that. Yeah, yeah let's get a real close up. Prisoner. Holy Prisoner. fuck, it sounds like the devil. Yeah. Alright, now we'll just go into the whole thing. So the devil's apparently here. Yeah. Dude, every time you find me. Oh! What's going on up here? Right when you said I'm feeling uneasy, the scream. Get out! Get out, right? What's going on up here? Okay, one more. Maybe they'll just land on Radic. Yeah, it kept flying around, but now it's just. Oh. Go back, go back. Or I heard a comment. Oh. I know there's something. There's something evil up here. I'm coming! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. There's something evil, I'm coming! Holy f this is good EVPs. Yes, over here. Yes, over here. yes it's, it's just a yes! I just scream. Okay. Whoa. Hang on. Yes. yes! To the demon! Yes, is there a demon in this house? Oh. Yes! Thank you. 
Dude, that's no. what the EV. Those are craziest EVPs. Yeah, and the devil is something evil. I'm coming. Yep. And remember, Dan said he doesn't even like going in this room. No. Dude, dude, there was even more people talking, but we couldn't make them out, and it was no. a girl's voice or something. Those are crazy. The devil. Is there something evil? I'm coming. Yep. Who's here right now? The demon has said yes. Yes. Holy shit. It said get out? I'm telling Bro, you. Bro. Dude. That is, I never, do the devil? What like, the hell? I'm not even religious. What's so, going on with what that? The, what I, What's going on with that? <coughs> that room's, that's the heart of it all. You know what? I think we need to ratchet this up even more. I think we kill the lights and do a complete darkness a couple minutes. Yeah. Do a DR60 and sit in silence. All of us in the same, all of us in the room, or should we just let... Or just leave we, that oh, in there. Just oh, leave yeah, it in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to do that. Dude, oh, that's crazy. Guys, that was good. That was... Uh, he. He's the magnet here. Yeah, you did really well in there, man. Yeah. Dude, you literally said, I feel sick, and it, and it, and it went to, and said, get out. Oh my God, bro. That was a good, always bro. You gotta touch it and bring it in there. You're the chosen one in there. Reverend. They are mad at you. Is it already recording? Yeah, it's recording. Actually, no, it's not recording. I don't know. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. So, I just want to say we're in the in the dark now. Um, having my blood sugar drop, double arrows going down. Mm -hmm. I think we should point out as being something really, really weird, because. Like it said twice, um, kill. My. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. What the f? Did your light just come yeah, off too? Yeah, the next one. And the mic, everything. And the mic. Dude. This thing's like f***ing destroying our equipment. But I'm just gonna say that that's really weird because if that. If this thing didn't want to kill somebody, that I'd be the easiest target, you know? Yeah, it also said kill twice today? Yeah, right yeah. when we came up here. And. That's just really weird that that's happening. You can see on the graph, I'll show you Connor too. Look at that, double arrows going down. Yeah, you're at 75 right now. Yep. That you just dropped like 30 points. Yeah. And when you look, here's 10 o'clock. We came up here about 20 minutes ago, 30. And, and that's funny. right when it starts going down. Right. And I haven't entered insulin, anything. You can see my numbers were actually like just fine, kind of yeah. coasting. And then you're dropping like really fast. Yeah. Right well, let's do this DR60. Yeah, no, we're gonna do it. Where is it? Oh, you got it? I have it. So, what we def we need, you're the holder. You're gonna put it in there. We're gonna just ask questions because it's connected. I really <coughs> believe it has something to do with you. That's my theory. Regardless, I don't know, but. All right. All right. Let's get it going. Lights out, baby. Yeah, it's like, just this whole setup. All right, to anybody that's here with us right now, I need you to say your name. What are you doing here? I want to ask if this is some entity that is... Power. You're targeting me with my blood sugar? Why are you doing that? Is heaven real? Are you affecting Connor? Do you have a problem with my religious background? Do you want to kill us? Can you tell me again what you are? You're making me feel sick right now. Why are you doing that to me? If you want us to leave, say the word leave. We can talk. Oh God. Maybe we should 
can get that back. And listen. What's wrong, Tommy? Yeah, okay, what are you feeling? I'm sick. I'm tired. <coughs> yeah. Drain. You seem a little off, Connor. I feel fucking terrible. And you want to know something even crazy? Is now I remember that Dan said that he got one of the best DR60 uh, EVPs. It was Nick. And it says there's no heaven or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. There's no heaven. Yeah. And it makes sense. There is something actually evil here. It just tied into us. They just said he's the devil. So just saying. Hey, you want to play it? Dude, or, you know, when you're saying that, Connor, I feel fucking sick, on. man. I feel like fucking terrible. I feel sick terrible. in my stomach, actually, all of a sudden. Something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right, guys, ready? Yeah. This is a long one, though. Hold it. It almost sounds like heaven is fake. I can hear something. But it's like very that. little. It's heaven is fake. Yeah, I heard that. Heaven okay. is fake. Are you affecting Connor? Do you have a problem with my religious background? Huh? When you asked, are you affecting Connor? I got him. Maybe we should just shut them off now yeah, since we're, we're going to switch anyways to the next. <coughs> I got him. Mm -hmm. I got him. It's not like it laughed. Yeah. Oh, what was that at the end? Shit. Do you have a problem with my religious background? Yes. Yeah, it laughed at first and said, yeah. Can you tell me again what you are? I'm a demon. Oh, way on. I'm a demon! Oh, right? yeah, Holy f Dude, we gotta get out of here. Wait, hang on. Yeah. I need to get that record. Yeah. Oh my that god! That's crazy, dude. And it keeps talking after that. Wait, one more time. I'm the devil. I'm a demon. I'm the devil. Listen, go again. Go again. Dude, I'm gonna stop this shit. Go again. I don't know. After hearing I'm the demon, I'm the devil. Yeah. I'm freaked That's out. That's so clear. That's it's literally I'm the demon. I'm, I'm the devil. Like and it says I got him. Yep, I it got him. It said it. This is past what I'm used to. This is like way this is scary. Now this, this is where is we not... gotta do Estus, dude. I think we gotta clinch it with an Estus. A double Estus? Yeah, we gotta finish with our experience. I've never done a double Estus. I'm down. But this is like I mean, I already, we already have our blood soaked into the zone here. I'm down to do this one thing, but like, I'm already like, I think I would, I, normally I would stop, but I'm hanging out with you guys. I'm like, I'm down, but this is, this is, this is dark, bro. I've never heard EVPs like that. Like, I'm the devil. I'm a demon. I'm the devil. Like, this is, yeah, this is crazy. Like, yo, what the fuck is in that room, man? Dude, fuck that room. If I'm doing Estes, I'm not doing it in that room. Can you get the closet where the guy got black eyes? Dang. Got possessed. You either get the devil's bedroom or the possession closet. <laughs> Neither one is too good of a choice, man. Dude, this is. Dude, I don't know what to do. This is not good. 
I, sh I want my blood back. <laughs> I want my blood back. What was that? Did you hear that crack? Yeah. I heard something move on the bed. Oh, it was a cross. It fell over. No. What? No. <laughs> that was sitting upside down. It fell over. And I wasn't, what? I wasn't moving on the bed. No. Dude, this, so is that something... side cam on working? Yes. Did you think it would show no, it on the bed? I don't think so. It wasn't facing us, right? Fuck. Dude, I literally, literally heard it. I, I heard something rustle on the bed. I, I know, we, I heard it. I looked at you. That wasn't oh moving. That wasn't it bouncing or anything. No, because wasn't it? What was yeah, it like was this, like right? Yeah, it was like that. Yeah, it was staying. No, yeah. I know. I know. Now it fell. It fell all the way over. The one item in the room it touched. Wait, but you were, you were looking at him. Would it have shown it? You might have got it. Maybe. Holy shit. And out of all things, it's the crucifix. That's what I'm saying. It out could... of all things. So we conjured something. Dude, I don't know if this is here. good. I don't know if we should do it. I don't know either. I think um, we should get I out mean, of here. We have to, man. I'll do it, I we guess. Need to. Okay. This is like... I don't know. What about you? How are you, bro? He's not even talking Dude, anymore. It's not good. What's up, man? There's fucking evil shit in here. Like, with us. Well, let's do this. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. I this is it. it. I need answers All right, here. Well. Okay, so we're going to end this now and do an Estes method session. Not my choice. Dual Estes. Yeah, I'm making him do this, but I feel like Estes always gives you the best answers. It always does. And Connor's feeling sick as a dog. Radic, you're feeling sick. It's just the rope. We're all just feeling really bad. Oh. Weird bad energy here. Well, after hearing the devil and all this other stuff, yeah, it is definitely boy. Crucifix coming down. The th oh, the whole night has been, honestly, my darkest night I've ever had. Yeah, this has been ever kill. It almost Twice. tried to kill me, if you want to count that as something weird yeah. that's going on. My blood sugar. I'm going to go into the closet where, if you'll remember, the guy got possessed. And Josh is going to go into... Mary's room. Yeah, Satan's lair, apparently. Uh, yeah. The devil's house. Yeah. So, so let's just do that. Let's do yeah, this, man. Let's do it. Dual session, by the way. I've never done a dual session. Just saying, ever. This is my I'm first excited. time. I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited. All right, let's okay. do this. Head on to hell, buddy. All right, so you'll be pretty much bouncing back and forth if you need the light on. What the right. f***? My spirit box is dead. No. What batteries what is it? Triple A? Yeah. I have triple A. Can you grab them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if there's anybody here with us That's right easy. now, let yourself Blood. be known. This is a community. Are you making us feel sick right now? Fight me. Where are you right now? Let go of me. Let go. Jesus. I'm never able to speak. Then speak to us. Say whatever you want. We're listening. Stop Dude, talking. Uh, I feel like I'm being just enveloped with dark. I'm si and I'm sick to my stomach actually. Please. Are you affecting Colin right now? Ball. You cut. I don't understand. Why you have them? you have to do everything in hiding. You can't show yourself. One of who? Let us know that you're here. You say you want to fight me, but you're acting like a coward Shut right up. now. You're a bitch. Yeah, you can talk all you want. I'm not afraid of you. Shut the fuck up. No, you're going to keep listening to me. You need to understand that we're Josh. more powerful than you are. You can't affect us. Why don't you show yourself? I'm gonna attack him. Who are you gonna attack? Mm, I'm really feeling weird in here. Are you trying to attack Colin? I'm seeing this, I wanna describe it, horrific vision of it's like a wrinkled face with sharp, oh, the crucifix I heard. Sharp teeth. Where'd he go? Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh is. Four. There, yeah, there is four of us. 
What are you gonna do to us? People. The person Colin just described, is that you? Two. Four people. They went together. Dead. Dead. Yeah, people died here. No, it's saying four people dead, us four. Yeah, we're not dead. Do you want us to be dead? It's coming. Who's coming? Go under. Under what? The ground. We're not going underground. Dirt. Are you talking about the bodies that might be buried outside? Go find them. I hate you. You want us to go find the bodies outside? Yes. Can you tell us where they are? Yeah, we can search for the bodies. Please, in a singing voice, please. But you need They're to help like... us find them. Can you tell us where they are? There's a girl. Yeah, are you talking about Laura? We heard you did some pretty messed up stuff to her. I made her. Blood. Did you make her bleed? Did you torment her so much yeah. that she couldn't live anymore? How's your mom? Yeah, my mom's fine. Don't worry about her. I'm talking about you right she now. She won't be. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know if you're asking something, but how's your mom? Uh, she won't be. And the connection of mom and she, that's crazy. It was the same voice, too. Well, I'm telling you right now, you can't leave this house. Wrong! And you definitely can't go and touch my mom. We aren't afraid of you. You're weak. That's why you can't leave this house. I'm telling you right Connor's now. blood! Tonight... Doesn't, doesn't work like just, that or something? Connor's blood? Tonight, after we leave, you have to stay here. Yeah, we can't let you come with us. You're staying here. I make you sick. Yeah, you made me sick earlier. Sick. But I want I want oh you to know my. that I'm not uh, afraid of you. You're only powerful in this house. Oh, my head's f***ing hurting. Where are you Stop right now? Affecting me. Where are you? You're talking all big and bad, but you won't show yourself. Where are you right now? In front. In front? Yeah, I don't see you. Why don't you tell Stairs. me your name? Guys, this bed is shaking a little bit. No way. I feel it. It's vibrating, if anything. I don't know. It's really weird. Are you vibrating? Me... I'm feeling oh. circular motions while it's Holy listening. Holy shit. Are you, are you sitting on the bed with Josh? I don't know why I hear this, but... Yo, I'll it's f scary, dude. On my left, I really feel like someone's sitting there. Hello? Oh, dude, I'm getting fucking cold over here, bro. I am literally... It is getting way colder by the second. Uh, Get over here. Goosebumps. Yeah, like I said, you don't have power over us. And tonight, we're going to leave, and you're going to have to stay here. And you're going to have to think about all the things you've done. I'm not going to let you hurt anybody tonight. Run. No. Run Just be two. quiet. Run from who? Me. Or meme? Mean? I don't know. Maybe. Die! Should... Like a singing voice. Why should we run? You might see him. What if you want to see him? Are you trying to Set warn him? Speak place. to me. We are speaking to you. I think we're speaking to someone else right now. What's your name? Can you show yourself? Just go. I'll be with you. We're not leaving if you're with us. You're staying here. He is waiting. Who's go? Going? We're not Just go. Just go. No, we're not going. Go. Yellow eyes. Come in here. <coughs> I'm getting so much shit. 
I'm getting go, stay close, just stay close right now, it just said stay close. Are you trying to help us? Is this someone else we're talking to? You're trying to warn us? Kids. It's the kids? You're not alone. Laura, are you here with us? Oh, dude. I'm... This is like... Horrible. <laughs> Act now. <laughs> Act now? What do you want us to do? Get out. Me? You want me to get out? Get out. Do you want me to get out and Connor to stay? No. Go! Singing voice. Colin. Do you want us all to stay? One. Just leave. One night. Leave. I'll scream. Ah! Alright, well, as we wrap up our time here tonight, do you have anything else you want to tell us before we go? Grow up. That's mean. Nah, you grow up. Leave us alone. And don't follow us. I'm feeling like I'm literally, bro, feeling this energy around me yeah. develop, bro. It's like, I'm fucking, this is like, actually, it's, I think this is the first time I've ever been scared oh, during an Estes. Damn. Are you surrounding Colin right now? Oh, dude, I feel it on my entire body, bro. I don't know if you can see this, but my hair's on end. <sighs> cursed. What is cursed? Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! I felt. I fucking felt something just grab my fucking ass cheek, dude. What the? F Yo. Okay, hold up, bro. You okay? Yes, I literally do just felt oh, something dude. go like this. Yo, what's on the f no, mirror? Show yourself. Make your devices go off. Yo, I'm Show actually, yourself. I gotta go right now. Here, get Josh out. Yo, Josh. Yo, Josh. Shoot. We're going out. Colin just got touched. And you started yelling at Colin after he got touched. Yo, man, that, that is not that cool, dude, bro. There was someone standing in the bed, what happened? vibrating. I literally and felt something go under like my around. leg, like this. I think that's me. Up happened. my thigh, and then squeeze my ass like that. And I'm not even, not fucking with you at all. And I was thinking in my mind at that exact moment, something's about to happen. And it literally, bro, dude, at the end, make, they were all making sense together. So there was a lot of things that, get out of this attic? it was even singing, but it was saying words. Bro, I said your name like three times towards the end. Call and call it. That's where you were being grabbed. When he was being grabbed, he started there. scurrying away into the corner. It was at the very end of my And you were yelling, Colin, Colin, Colin. This is honestly I'm, the I'm darkest genuinely session genuinely I've ever had. I think I'm, I, I, I'm, I can't even speak, man. Let's go. Let's just, that was yeah, like we gotta get out of here. Such a, I don't think I've ever felt Let's just get out, man. Like yeah, we, we, we Honestly, a lot of this out. has to be blur. I've never swore so much in a freaking yeah, YouTube dude. video. Yeah. I never had to swear at people. I'm just repeating what they were saying to you, oh, yeah. especially you. Bro, something was sitting on the bed with me, Colin. I'm, t I'm not, the vibration of the bed, honestly. And I took the crucifix and I had and pointed it at it. And what? I can't even something. think. That, that, uh, <coughs> I've never been grabbed like that ever, ever. Bro, yeah, I, like I said to you, I was like, Colin, Colin, I want you, but uh, yeah, holy f dude, dude, that is insane. <coughs> it's not even like. Do we, do we have everything? <coughs> So, I love doing the dual Estes method. We've been using that a lot recently in our investigations, and the Josh, what Josh was hearing, what I was hearing in the Estes was all correlating. Remember, I was in that closet where just recently somebody's eyes turned completely black and they got almost possessed. And as you saw in that footage, that was the most real touch of a spirit that I've ever felt in my life. It was even more real than the times I've been scratched because a scratch appears on you. It's like you feel something rake into your back. It's just this burning that grows. But with that, I felt literally almost a hand go from the bottom of my leg up the side of my thigh, like cruising up, and then it grabbed <laughs> my butt cheek. I don't know how I can say that on YouTube, but it squeezed me as hard as it could, and that's why I freaked out. You can even see in the footage, I 
right before I screamed, you could see me tensing up and going, oh, because I was feeling it as it happened. Yeah, I've never felt something that strong before. And at that point, we decided, or at least I decided, you know what? I'm done. I believe in all this stuff. I think that whatever's there really did not want us in the house. And it wasn't like a spirit. Some people are going to say, why'd you quit so early? It wasn't a spirit that wanted to talk to us. It wasn't something that was trying to get a message across. Whatever we were dealing with was evil. And it just wanted to scare us. It wanted to do all these things. It even wanted to hurt us, like it was saying, to kill us. And so, yeah, we decided we wanted to go to go outside of the house, pack our stuff up and cleanse. Okay, so my experience in there was absolutely nuts just now. I got literally grabbed on the butt cheek by something. And people who watch my videos will know that that does not happen. I don't think it's really happened ever that strong. Well, and from, I'm still shaking, dude. Well, from my understanding, when you got grabbed, I was at that point saying, Colin, 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 I want you. Yeah, and I, I'm like, I feel like sick, but so I want to get out of here. I can barely, I'm going to formulate yeah, thoughts later. Yeah, of course. But yeah. I brought some sage today. We'll sage all of us. I yeah, guess, so yeah, please. we're going to, or do you do it from this end? Yeah. Like, I'm shaking, really I'm shaking. shaking. You see that, Connor? I mean, you just got grabbed. Yeah. I'm like, my anxiety is at an all-time high. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaked out, man. I got you. Oh, yeah, we'll sage each other. Yeah. yeah. So should I want me to go around you too? Sure. If there's ever a time and a place I need to be sage, it's literally this place. On uh, honestly. <laughs> Give a run circles. Please. Thank you. you. Go, Thank you. A little extra. It's like Do you want to sage pepper. our friends? Yeah. yeah we yeah, have to. Yeah, we have to, to, huh? I'm not dealing with that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You you want to do? Yeah. Want right, to do well, radic? Radic, we getting you, baby. Yeah, we getting you. Got to sage our our homies. Here you go, bud. I'm going to sage, and the intention with all of this is to get rid of any energy and make sure it stays here at the house. That's exactly it. And any bad spirits or energy that might have tried to attach itself to us tonight, you cannot follow us home. You have to stay here tonight, and you cannot attach yourself to me, or Colin, or Josh, or Raddick. You have to stay here. All right. Okay. Oh, it ends right there. My final word for the Hensdale house is that there's still a lot to be uncovered at this location and that I don't know if we'll ever truly understand the bulk of the history that happened at this place because there's going to be things that aren't recorded in the history books. One thing I do know is that there is still evil in that house and I think there will continue to be evil in that house forever. At the ending of the investigation, I started noticing that I was feeling very, very sick to the point where I had lost all of my energy. It felt like there was something like stuck in my throat and it wasn't just like a cold or anything like that. I mean, I had like intense pounding in my head and that continued for almost a week after this investigation, like something really completely drained me physically, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Uh, I haven't felt sick like that in years. And apparently I wasn't the only one that was feeling like that. So at the end of the day, usually there's a nice wrap up on these episodes, but not this time. Um, so we finished filming at the Hinsdale house that night. As we were driving back, um, it's pretty early in the night. Connor and I were gonna go hang out with Josh and Raddick, go cook some food. But immediately Connor started feeling sick and he had me go drop him off at our hotel that we were staying at. And then I went back over with Josh and Raddick and, and we had dinner and stuff late at night. But Connor was starting to get ill. The next day, I woke up feeling totally fine. I drove all the way back to Philadelphia. It's about a six and a half hour drive from Hinsdale, that area. and once again, I was feeling great all day, and then at around 10 o'clock at night, almost exactly the same time the night before that I got grabbed, I became the most sick I've ever been in my entire life. 
Um, I was throwing up every 20 to 30 minutes for about a period of nine to 10 hours. I'm not kidding when I say this. I, that started at 10. I didn't fall asleep until 9 a.m. the next day. I couldn't drink any water. I was unbelievably sick, like bedridden. Courtney had to take care of me. It came out of nowhere. It wasn't like I started to feel bad all day and then all of a sudden I got sick. It was like right at that time, I was immediately so sick that for 30 minutes, for eight, nine hours straight, I was throwing up, using the restroom, sweating through my shirt, sweating through the sheets, couldn't drink water. Um, it was terrifying. And um, Josh also got sick, which is, I think, what's crazy, because it was Connor, Josh, and I that did the blood ritual. Raddick didn't participate. So it was just us three that got sick. Raddick never ended up getting sick. Courtney didn't get sick. Nobody else that we were around got sick. But I don't know. It, I, <laughs> I'm hesitant to say that that's related to the house, but it's really, really weird timing because I was actually supposed to go film with Twin Paranormal on Sunday. I got back Fridays when I got sick. Saturday I was sick all day and I thought I was gonna have to cancel my entire trip with them because I was so sick. And luckily I pulled through out of it, but it was really weird. I mean, then you add in just the nightmares that we've had, the, the weird feelings, the stuff like that. Um, we're always down to put ourselves on the line for these investigations, but you have to remember that it's it's real. So if you want to investigate like this, I don't recommend it, but you just have to be careful because we know what we're playing with when we open ourselves up. Personally, if a full-on demon would appear in the room and I could actually film him and say, hey man, let me get an interview real quick, that would be, that would be ideal. Um, I know a lot of people wouldn't want to experience that, but I want proof. I want to show people that what we're experiencing on this side of the screen is real and sometimes it has ramifications. Actually, the other day I just got this tattoo. I don't know if you can see it, it's a four leaf clover. Uh, it's on my hand now, and that, one of the interpretations of that tattoo is that it's a, it's a protective symbol. Back, back in the day they used to ward off demons and evil spirits with four leaf clovers. And so that's why I now have it on my hand so that everywhere I go, uh, I lead with this protection um, in, in investigations in the future. But there's so much more to the Hinsdale house. We didn't even touch the outside of the home, the forest that's supposed to be extremely haunted. I mean, we were out there for, I think maybe 20 minutes and we could feel that that was extremely just loaded with energy. So Josh and Connor and I are actually planning on doing another series at the Hinsdale house, digging deeper into the mystery of what the hell is haunting this property because this has been the most intense haunting we've experienced in a long time. So if you guys, want to see that series, leave a comment below, let me know, like the video, let's try to get 20,000 likes on this one, and we'll go back. But yeah, freaky night, freaky video. Thank you guys for joining us uh, for another week of spookiness. We're back next week. We have some amazing videos coming up. We have Jersey Devil, we have a Freemason Temple, just so many places, both of my videos with Twin Paranormal. It's, yeah, we have some amazing stuff in the works, but. As always, everybody, it's Colin here. Stay safe, say a prayer if you need to after this, cleanse yourself, and as always, stay spooky.